Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Kazan Convention Center here in Lucena City. The Nueva Ecija Capitals and your Kazan Titans for game three of the best of five CSL final series. Now, ladies and gentlemen, first, let's meet the entire lineup of the visiting Nueva Ecija Capitals. Number 23, small forward, Jay Cunado. Number 19, small forward, Nat Cosejo. Number 12, shooting guard, Eman Kahlo. Number one, shooting guard, Jonathan Oiluan. Number 26, small forward, Billy Ray Robles. Number 51, shooting guard, Aaron Villarias. Number 24, shooting guard, Michael Rico. Number 8, power forward, Rob Sellers. Number 27 point guard, Chris Bitoy. And center, the man in the middle, number 14, Will McAloney. Team owners, the Mesa governor on Honorable Aurelio Oye Omani, Vice Governor Dr. Anthony Omani, Provincial Administrator Attorney Al Abisamis, Palayan City Mayor Vianney Cuevas, Palayan City Vice Mayor Romani Capinpin, Palayan City Councilors, former Palayan City Mayor Honorable Rian Cuevas, and Sir Bo Cuevas. The head coaches, or the head coach of the Nueva Ecija Capitals is Dun Dulay. He is assisted by Rob Wainwright. Matt Magalintal, Arnold Oliveros, Rick Season, and Enzo Barbados. Ladies and gentlemen, the visiting Nueva Ecija Capitals.
120 to Peng Lagrama. Num number seven, Yudegard Tomog Matiliano. Over number 12, Rodel Gravela! Number 13, Guard AJ Gonzalez! Shooting guard number 2, Dr. Helen Tan, Congressman Mike Tan, and Mayor Ralph Lim. Their head coach is Eric Gonzalez. He is assisted by Richard Dixon. Their team captain is Gabbanal. Ladies and gentlemen, your Kazan Titan! Players, please proceed to the center court.
keeps getting higher as we head into the third game of this finals matchup. With a series tied at one apiece, whoever wins this game will have a huge advantage. Will this be a case of a team gaining momentum at home or the other, taking back what was stolen at home? Whatever happens, one thing is for sure. This series is already looking to become an instant classic. This is Game 3 of the Filipina Super League President's Cup 2024 Finals. Dito, Pinoy ang Bida. Yan po ang uh, maglalaban ngayon ng Nueva Ecija Capitals at ang Quezon Titans. Nueva Ecija Quezon Titans will go to the uh, Fiesta President's Cup 2024 Finals. The first The series shifts over to the Quezon Convention Center for game number three of this best of five series between the Quezon Titans and the Neva Isia Capitals Pure Gold. Quezon overcame another slow start to notch a win against the juggernaut that is the Nueva Ecija Capitals. Strong performances from their big three of Will Gozum, LJ Gonzalez, and Judel Puentes helped propel the Titans to a series tying win just last Thursday. The Capitals, meanwhile, had to deal with adversity in the form of foul trouble on resident big man Will Macaloni Jr. and the ejection of Michael Huigo as they fell to the defensive-minded Quezon squad. Which team will take this pivotal third game and get one step away from taking home the crown? Let's find out. A pleasant evening mula dito sa Quezon Convention Center. Hi, Mimente are joined by the Professor Randy Sakdalan. It is electric dito yes, sa Quezon. Uh, good evening, uh, Jaime and everybody. Mga ka-PSL, pivotal game three na po tayo dito sa Quezon. And later on, we'll be joined by Jess Constantino and Sheila Salaysay uh, patrolling our sidelines. Silipin na natin kagad. Game number two uh, where uh, the Quezon Titans was able to steal that home court advantage. But the adjustment really came from the Quezon Titans after losing a close game against uh, the Capitals in their home uh, turf sa Nueva Ecija. Field goal shooting, three points, free throws sa side two yan ng uh, Quezon Titans. Pero yung turnover conversion, mas magaling ang uh, Nueva Ecija Capitals. Pero bakita nyo, no? may, may mga nakakulangan sa mga laro na halimbawa. Yung free throws, kung unti lang ang nai-attempt ng Nueva Ecija, mas naging agresibo ang kupuna ng Quezon Titans sa laro nyo. Yung field goal shooting at three points, Dikit-dikit yung Capitals nga lang, mas kukunti ang naging threat, which really is an adjustment made defensively by the Titans in game number two. Saligan na natin key players for the Quezon Titans, helping them secure that game two victory. Unahin na natin, syempre, wala nang iba. You can talk about the Quezon Titans without talking about LJ Gonzalez. Well, LJ Gonzalez has been the focal point. Although he missed a, uh, a crucial third in game number one, made it up in game number two to steal the... Uh, home advantage of the Capitals in that in, in game number two. Wala kasing takot to mira to si LJ Gonzalez. He reads it well and he's got the confidence the backing from his coaches. And though a late entry, look at that over Will McAloney taking that big three. That's LJ Gonzalez's big partner. Look at his numbers. Woo. 16 points nga, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, and a couple of steals. No? Talagang uh, securing uh, his production from both ends of the floor. Another player that really played well for the Quezon Titans, a backward partner in LJ Gonzalez talking about Judel Puentes. Similarly, late addition, Judel has always been a constant source of production para sa kupunan ng uh, Quezon Titans. No? Si Judel, uh, similar to the game of uh, LJ, but he shoots with uncanny accuracy from three-point area. And pag pumasok siya sa loob, kapay parang andali-dali ng two-pointer, reads the floor very well. So, the punch of one and two para sa kumpunan backcourt na Quezon Titans. Bantayin nyo, Judel Fuentes, his numbers, they don't lie. 
Ngayon bumuhos nga, no? 17 points, 4 rebounds, a couple of blocks, and limang 3-pointers ang pinaulan nito ni Judevil Fuentes. And uh, to learn more about the Titans, uh, we go to Jess Constantino. How are you, Jess? Hi, hi, man, Professor. It's my first time actually here in Quezon. At gaya ng mainit na pagtanggap sa atin dito sa Lucena, ganun din naman yung determinasyon ng Quezon Titans sa protektahan yung kanilang home court. What the... Uh... Jess, ang tanong ko lang sa Titans, maraming nagtatanong, kumusta si Simon sa lalaro ba? Alam mo, Professor, after Game 2 last Thursday, wala na nga sinayang na oras itong Quezon Titans and they took an almost 8 hour back home. At good news nga para sa mga fans ng Quezon dahil after missing 2 games, maglalaro na itong si Simon sa Dagon ngayong araw. Definitely good news if you're a Quezon Titan fan and uh, kumbaga, right on time. Mm -hmm. uh, first two games nga, wala ito si Simon Sandago nursing that injury. Kita nga namin may uh, ano pa siya rito, no? may uh, doon sa kanyang pisngi mm -hmm. back when they battled against the San Juan Kings. Silipin naman natin the key players in Nueva Ecija despite that game of loss with Nat Cosejo. Well, it's always been a welcome factor para sa kukuna ng capital doon. Tapos so, nagpresa tayo lahat in game number one. He exploded in double digits and then continued his uh, stellar uh, game. Itong si Nat Cosejo in a losing effort in game number two. But he certainly changed the equation pagdating sa front line ng kukuna ng uh, capitals because naging threat siya offensively. Yung mga rebounds, alam natin, makukuha ni natin. But him being blended into the offense certainly is something that you would welcome if your coach don't do like in the rest of the capitals. Look at this production. Monster double-double, especially with the foul redden. Will Macaloni in game number two. 21 points to go with 11 points and high field goal shooting. Para ka dito kay Nat Coseo looking to pick up from where he left off in that game number two. And the player, of course, uh, Nueva Ecija Capital, sabi nga natin, Angel L.J. Gonzalez, synonymous with the Titans. Chris Bitoon, the same here for the Nueva Ecija Capitals. Well, our best player in game number one. No? Uh, actually, in fortunes ng uh, Capitals, parang kung saan pupunta yung North Star, doon pupunta sila eh. So far in the series, you know, the number one option is uh, Will Macaloni, but Bitoon, he's the court general, he gets the numbers in terms of assists. Basta uno pa nga yung double-double niya. Uh, Double-double siya sa assists kaysa sa puntos in game number one. Eh. He truly is a consistent Northern Star for the Capitals. 11 points, 4 rebounds, just 7 assists, then a couple of uh, steals to Chris Bitoon's name. And uh, nga, aasahan pa rin that his consistency throughout this series will be in full display dito sa ating game number 3. And uh, helping us with the Nueva Ecija Capitals for today's game, ang nagbabalik na si Sheila Salaysay. How are you, Sheila? Pagandang gabi, of course, Jaime and Prof. Randy sa ating mga ka-PSL na nandito sa loob ng venue, sa ating uh, nanunood online via SB page and YouTube. At syempre, i-shoutout ko na rin ang ating social media, si Fermil, si Jerome, of course, at si Marco. Ngayon, nandito tayo sa Quezon for game number three, intense. Ang... Uh, ang damdam ng Nueva Ecija going into this game. Sabi nila, ang main focus nila, syempre, all hands on deck and they need to play 40 minutes as a team. Pero ito nga, ang update sa isa sa kanila mga players kay Bobby Balukanag. The, the, the initial impression was rupture patellar tendon. Pero nagpa-check up siya last time and it was a fractured kneecap. Now, he will undergo an operation this Sunday and then we wish him well for that. Um, uh, yung Capitals. Isang beses pala yung natalo sa post-elimination uh, sila. Bukod sa mukhang matindi, mukhang... Uh, how, how do you think they're taking it? Aside from, you know, nasabihin na they're not used to losing uh, in, in, in games like this. Oh, doon naman wala ata si Sheila, partner. Oh, of course, uh, the Capitals, yun nga, uh, as, as reported by Sheila, will be missing mm -hmm. itong si uh, Bobby Balocana. Uh -huh. We do wish him well in that surgery coming right up. And uh, we now jump to the keys to the game dito, Professor Randy. And uh, alam mo, pinag-usapan natin ito during uh, pre-game prior to uh, this game starting. And uh, maga, marami dito that would really be maga, sustaining or maintaining for both of these teams. Ayun, you know, yung kulahin natin muna yung sa, ano, so, sa kaliwa. Dahil eh, kung magbasa naman tayo, galing sa kaliwa eh. <laughs> Hindi naman tayo nagsisimula sa kanan eh. Sa nagwaging Eric uh, Gonzalez noong uh, huling laro sa Nueva Ecija, keeping up with the physicality of uh, Nueva Ecija. Ang obvious na adjustment na nangyari sa Game 2, itong si Ronyo. No? Kinisikal niya si Michael Wico, na-throw na at si, si Wico, nawala yung laro. Nang, uh, partly nawala at nagkaroon sila ng advantage doon. Limit the end easy bet. Kasi alam nila yung sa starter siya eh. Yung mga X-factor, no? Hindi mo dapat pupuntahin yan dahil magugulo talaga ang rotation mo. At si Macaloni naman, well, they need Macaloni for uh, Capitals to win in the game. Alam nila yun. Pag tinanggal mo si Macaloni, half the problem solved. 
para sa capital. Pagka kukunan naman ng capital, ang titignan mo, itong si Bantay mo, itong si Puentes, at saka si LJ Gonzalez, pati si Tomas Torres. Yung tira mula sa perimeter, yun ang nagpapahirap sa kanila eh. No, and there's a lot of mistakes coming up uh, para sa kukunan ng uh, Nueva Ecija. Of course, our marquee matchup uh, heading into this ball game. Uh, na natin the production of uh, these two players so far in this series. Talagang uh, has been very consistent for both their teams. Well, you might as well say that these are the extractors in the in the series. No, Javera was consistent here in double digits. That was uh, our surprise uh, star para sa kung 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 partner. You know, sa lahat ng, uh, ng aspects na yan. Uh, yung minuto nila, kita mo si Cusejo, averaging more than 22 minutes per ball game And itong si Gravera, a decent under 20 minutes per ball game And Sheila is actually with Nat Cusejo uh, for a report. Go ahead, Sheila. Yes, Nat, uh, ik ang ganda na naging performance mo in your last game back in Nueva Ecija. Looking at the numbers and your playing minutes, this has been your best performance as of yet. Ngayon, coming from a loss, paano mo dadalhin yung momentum na pinakita mo from game 2 going to game 3? Siyempre, yung mga maganda kong ginawa nung game 2, uh, siguro doblein ko lang yung effort ko at sumunod, susunod lang ako sa uh, sistema ni Kat. Ngayon, sa last na laro ninyo dito sa Quezon, hindi nyo nakuhang manalo. Paano mo iibahin yung story ng laro sa game na to? Uh, Siyempre, gawin namin tama. Uh, Dahan-dahanin namin yung gagawin namin at huwag namin mamadali. Tsaka, Siyempre, yung effort dapat lagi na doon. Doble-doble para manalo. Titingnan natin ang yung performance. Uh, good luck, Nat Cosejo, and of course, hi man, Prof. Randy. Thank you, that was Sheila Salaysaya with Nat Cosejo, the one of the big men na mm -hmm. naging consistent nga dito for the capital especially very uh, medyo prone into foul trouble itong si Will Macaloni Jr. Oh, pero hindi, hindi na siya ano eh hindi, umbaga, hindi na ngayon katakataka kung ikaw yung Titans hindi sa muna sa equation si Nat Cusero productive yan in and out yung uh, kanyang laro uh, at ang uh, iba pang mga contribution na wala sa stats and the other half or marquee match up Rodel Gravera is with Jess Constantino naman yes hi man uh, professor kasama ko nga ang one of the key players talagang play the big role here in our final series, Rodel Gravera. Rodel, this is the first game here in the final series natin dito sa home court ninyo. How do you guys plan to protect the homeland? Ah, siguro, gawin lang namin yung ginawa namin nung second game at nagdagan pa po namin yung effort namin para makuha itong panalo nito. Rodel, finally, maglataro na si Simon Sandago na talagang meron ka ng katulong sa ilalim. Ano yung nararamdaman mo about it? Ah, yung pag ano ni Simon, ah, Gawin na po namin yung game plan ni Coach para makuha ito para. Thank you, Rodel. Good luck to the Titans. Good luck to you guys. Balik na sa inyo. Hi, me and Professor. Thank you. That was Jess Constantino reporting naman for the Quezon Titans. And a welcome addition ni Simon Sandagon on top of the consistent performance na of Rodel Gravera in the series. Huwag sanay naman si Gravera working with with Simon. Yung nga lang, baka alam natin, mga minuto niya, baka mas tumiksi pa ng konti. But if they will be playing together, that will be a double threat down low para sa kumpunan ng Quezon. Now, I know you're very excited no, for game number three of our PSL President's Cup Finals. But before that, punta muna tayo kay Sheila for our awarding of our best player of the conference. Magandang gabi, Quezonians! Ako ang hina naman. Magandang gabi, Quezonians! Ayan. Siyempre sa lahat ng mga ka-PSL na nanunood online, itong buong conference na ito, marami tayong nakitang nanguna. At siyempre, at nagpakitang gilas mula sa iba't ibang koponan. Pero ngayong gabi, we will award the best player of the conference. At siyempre, sino nga ba ang mga nanguna para sa ating mga koponan mula sa Nueva Ecija at Quezon Titans? And here are the candidates for the Best Player of the Conference Award. Unahin natin dyan si Will Macaloni of the Nueva Ecija Capitals. At syempre, sinunda naman yan dito ni Will Gozop of the Quezon Titans. Ayan. Third on the list is Justin Sanchez. Pero ano nga ba ang naging basihan ng uh, mechanics ng ating mga best player of the conference candidates? So this is 
a combination of media votes and commissioner's office. Ngayon, to award our best player, let me call on our Deputy Commissioner, Mr. Jerry S. Plana. Sino nga ba ang tatanghaling best player of the conference? On your screens is Will Macaloni and Will Gossom. Tingnan natin, palapakan naman para kay Will Macaloni. At syempre, pakinggan naman natin, show some love to Will Gossom. Pero may comment si Depcom. Depcom, ano yun? Para sa ating uh, best player of the conference, isa lang maya sabi ko, parehong will na may pangalan ang mananalo. Isa sa mga will. So, sino sa inyo ang gusto kay Will Gozom? Para naman kay Will Magalone! At ang ating best player of this conference, Walang iba kundi si Will Macaloni. Will Macaloni earned 108 statistical points. Yes, and again, statistical points is based on media votes and the, the votes of the commissioner's office. Congratulations, our best player of the conference. Palapaka naman, Lucena. Hey, congratulations. And uh, at your screens, the best player of the conference para sa ating President's Cup 2024, a battle of wills. And uh -huh. it is Will Macaloni to be awarded ng ating BPC. Oh, si Will Macaloni, no? uh, simula ang isa pa lamang. Napakarami na niyang uh, mga best player to give sa sa No surprises indeed for the big man of the Nueva Ecija Capitals. Now let's head on to the starting lineups through Mr. Sandy Grumo. All right, now we go to the starting five for both teams. Let's meet first the starting five for the listing. Nueva is Sija Capitals, shooting guard number 51, Byron Villarias. The other guard, number 24, Michael Wico. Forward, number 8, Rob Sellis. Number 27, Point guard, Chris Bitton. And the best player of the conference at center number 14, Will Macaloni, the sunny five for the Nueva Ecija Capitals. And now, are you ready? Let me hear you one more time. Are you ready? Because it's time to meet and greet the Sunny Five for your Kazan Titans! Point guard number 13, AJ Gonzalez! Shooting guard number two, Jude Fuentes! Small forward number 10, Forward number zero, Will Go 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 Zone! The man in the middle, the center of attraction, number 24, RJ Minilla! The setting five for your. 
Mr. Sandy Grumo announcing our starting lineups making the Quezon Convention Center electric. Ngayon siya Capital, starters natin, Byron Villarias, Chris Bitoon, Will McAloney Jr., Robbie Celes, and Michael Uigo. For the hometown team, Quezon Titans, LJ Gonzalez, Judel Puentes, L uh, RJ Minerva, Will Gozum, and of course, ang uh, surprise starter natin dito, si uh, Mr. Mark Alcala. Usually, si Abundo yung kumukuha ng pwesto yan to take a look at the uh, guard, Byron Villarias. Pero this is, a, this is a, something new. This is game number three of our President Cup 2024 finals. A virtual best of three. Alcala sidestepping his way through. Floats it up and then and two. Oh. That goes wild again. Oh, oh, oh. Napagbabago eh. Lubis sa kagad ng ano. Nang uh, puntos. Two to nothing. Early lead for the Quezon Titans. Uh, dito nga nag-shift ang ating home court. After the Titans were able to steal one in game number two. Bito on. Loses the basketball recovered by Macaloni. Bito on. Nice fake. Drives. Kick out. Villarias with a fake. They will reset. Shot clock did reset to 24. Biton from the corner. Malakas. Gonzalez with a board. So na magtatakbo dito. Three white shirts facing him. Slow it down. Igot nila. Fuentes. 15 on the clock. Shadowed by Huico. Alcala once again. This time to the middle. Scoops it up once again. And wow. then four points. Para kay Mark Alcala. Nagmula talaga ang capital with the entry of Mark Alcala. They were not ready for him. It's very obvious how they're giving him the lane and the open look. As Will McAloney misses on that layup. Newly minted. Best player of the conference, Will McAloney Jr. Let's see if they go to Mark Alcala once again. Yung crowd dito, gising na gising. Ngayong Sabado ng gabi. Three-pointer this time. That's off. Up. He checked. Para kay uh, Mark Alcala, ina-anticipate na kagad ng mga tao, but the way they're moving that ball and how it's going go, go to the corner, ito yung kilos. So, ito mo open lane, no? hindi sumwitch eh. Hindi kinover si Alcala kaya nagkaroon ng open lane. Dapat sumaraman lang yun with either Villarreal or Macaloni. May gulat factor din oh, siguro talaga, no? That, uh, suddenly, eh. Mark Alcala is in the starting lineup for the Titans. Missing is uh, Byron Villarreal from that three-pointer. LJ Gonzalez. Ball tapped from behind by Bitoon. They will keep it on the baseline. Still 18 on the clock. Well, just for the record, uh, Jaime, the top teams did not lost two in a row so far, both in the elimination round and in the post-elimination round. We're talking about the semi-finalists at itong Capitals. Well, hindi pa natasado ng back-to-back yan. Yeah, sabi nga nila, something's gotta give. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe, uh, you know, if you're the Titans, you can argue that uh, Capitals are due back-to-back mm -hmm. -back losses. But siyempre, if the number serves us right, then uh, it just might be the Capitals for this game number three. Rico lose the basketball, and but will be fouled. That will be on Michael Rico. Hindi nga na magtataka kung bakit ang Quezon crowd is uh, very fond of oh, Michael Wigo. Instant villain si Mike Wigo dito. Here is the play. Wigo will lose that handle and uh, will push out uh, Fuentes. Apparently hit on the face. Sitting si Fuentes on that foul by Wigo. Of course, Michael Wigo unable to finish that game number two. And you can argue na yung uh, kawalan niya. Mm -hmm. Especially in that time where they were threatening. To come back in that ball game was a bit pivotal for the Capitals. Well, you know, he's a stable guy. Though. He, he puts a lot of ability on the floor para sa pagdinang kapadang. Talagang yung crowd dito, parang bawat ano, no, first quarter pa lang tayo. Oh. Talagang uh, really, really eager to cheer for the Titans. Gonzalez, pass a bit too high, but recovered by Fuentes for three. Off, Gonzalez trying to fight for it. It's going to be a foul in LJ, pushing off against Mike uh, Byron Villarreal in that play. That would be uh, team foul number one, one each for both Nueva Ecija and Quezon. Take another look. Doon nagsimula yung hirap eh, yung mataas na pasa din to push off Villarreal to fend off the that play. Kasi nasa likod siya ni Byron, ito si LJ Gonzalez. Four to nothing to begin the game in favor of the Titans. Wiko to uh, pag, uh, sobrang daming boost dito sa Quezon Convention Center. Macaloni foiled. Pass ahead to Fuentes. He will pull up for three. 
Off to the left, Minerva trying to fight for it, taps it to Alcala. Pasa pa lang yun na uh, Professor Randy, talagang oh. uh, ihingay na kagad dito sa ating arena. No look! Ooh. Minerva unable to contain the leather. They turn it over back to the Capitals. Oh. Here comes the antidote. Hindi mo alam mo kung sino yung antidote dito sa dalawang ko. When Rico and Ronyo faces up against each other. What about the impact naman uh, ni Mark Alcala in this uh, ball game? Not just yung four points, eh, pero yung gising sa crowd, yung energy yes. na pwede na mabit-bit ng kanyang kupunan throughout this game. Every time Michael Wigo touches that ball, that's yes. uh, Makaloni to the reverse. Yep. Alam mo na yan, first two points, that's a good icebreaker for the Capitals who've struggled here in the first quarter. First two points for the Capitals, courtesy of the best player of the conference. Fuentes against Macaloni. Looking for Minerva on the block. Mismatch with Villarias. Trying to back him down. Blocked by Byron. And Macaloni matatamaan dito. A bit of a frustration foul coming from RJ Minerva after getting blocked. As uh, Macaloni still down. Well, this is mismatch na sana yun. Minerva hindi ko siya too soft here against Villarias. He was blocked and then there's a hand on the face of uh, Macaloni, hand of Minerva. First foul against RJ Minerva. That would be two now. On the Titans, Tomas Torres also checking in. Para sa Quezon. Will Gozum, the, second the first runner-up rather, sa ating best player of the conference. So we'll finally see the battle of Wills. Here we go. <laughs> Spin move inside. Kick out to Villarias. Seven to work with. Macaloni sa loob, masyado malakas. Wigo offensive rebound, puts it up. Will be clipped. That's one way to answer this uh, very hostile Quezon uh, crowd. I think he's up to it. Ito si Michael Wigo. Pero ma ma marinig ko yung, marinig ko yung sigaw ko sa likod natin, partner, ha? Lalo na siya mag-replay. So, Parang mas malakas pa nga yung uh, cheer, cheer, quote-unquote, dito cheer. kay Michael Wigo for any other uh, Titan player. Alam mo, it could work both ways, ha, partner, yung ganyan. Pwede yung alatin ka, o lalo yung mga challenge yung uh, sinisigawan mo. You know, Michael Wico, this guy is a veteran. I mean, I'm not saying this would be, you know, this doesn't bother him, pero maga, alam niya what it feels like playing mm -hmm. outside of, uh, you know, very hostile nga na home court of Quezon. Well, so far, the, the cheering on the negative side to Miss Wico, but he gets a steal, partner. Only Minerva to beat. Uy, nabitawan to the delight once again uh, of this crowd. You know that's pressure for you, no? He was thinking ahead of the motion that he wants to do. Intention coming ahead of his action. Losing the ball. Ganda ng sanong anticipation. No? Oh, so, yeah, medyo nagmamadali. Maybe uh, uh, a bit of that pressure creeping in, alam, like you said. Alam mo, kumapasok sa isip yung, uh, yung, yung pressure eh, kay Michael Rico. Fuentes takes out Wico, gets that jumper to go. Yep, Miguel Fuentes yep. with his first basket. He's probably the deadliest medium range shooter right now. Six to two, up by four are the Titans. Close to halfway through our opening period. Villarias goes to Macaloni against two, kick out, Biton wide open. Gets yep. that three to go, Chris um, Biton. Good recognition by Macaloni. Two on him. Biton was left wide open. Makes them pay. Up by one now are the Titans. Torres. Looking for this Gozum pick. Calls out the Minerva pick instead. Makes a move. Hands it off to Ronyo. Just five to shoot now for the Titans. Minerva blocked by Celes, but foul will be whistled. Minerva will be heading to the line for uh, what looked like a three-point attempt. Oh, well, jump shooter yung uh, hinabul mo dun eh. Shot clock was winding down. A very surprised uh, Rob Celis. And so far, Rob Celis has not been in position to score. Hindi siya nakakatangan ng bola sa low block. Walang bola kung umiikot para lang play para sa kanya. And remember, he's part of the keys to the game para sa kumpunan ng uh, Capitals. 
Like activating Robbie Sellers is, is uh, has been key for them. Not just in the victories. Dito, I mean, uh, sa games natin dito sa serye na to, but even from uh, the previous oh. games, especially during the playoffs, na kapag nagpo-produce itong si Robbie Sell is uh, Professor Randy, oh, the probability of winning nitong yes. Capitals talagang tumataas. Oh, sa, sa research, ang tawag dun, ano eh, uh, correlation eh, no? Hindi necessary ding nananalo, pero kapag ka nakaka-score, may chance mong manalo o gumaganda. Although nakuha ni Koseho yung uh, spot na yun, kailangan mag-click yung dalawang big men ng Capitals eh. In game number one, nangyari yun. Both Macaloni and Oseho were in double digits together with Rob Celis. In game number two, we did not see the factor. Macaloni was in single digits. Celis is in single digits. Only Oseho is in double digits. So, that formula, in a way, is a, is a barometer of the success of the Capitals here in the series. Kumbaga sa math, no? Kumbaga A plus B plus C. Hindi oh. pwedeng may isang minus dyan. Kasi baba pa. Para makompleto ang formula. Talking about the keys para the San Nueva Ecija Capitals. 8 to 5, up by 3 are the Titans. Oiloan in the ballgame as well. On the block is Macaloni. Biton asking for it, gets the basketball. Second three-pointer and will sink that one as well. Tying this ballgame at 8. Oh, yung sasabi mong, ano ba, error yan sa mga tao kay, kay Biton eh, no? Uh, lumubog kay, alam mong nakakasit yan eh. Torres attacks the rim and will be fouled. He will also head to the line for a couple. He, he beat one to the basket. And that's going to be two free throws for Tomas Torres. Cannon checking in for RJ Minerva. Ano, dami na kagad na players na nagkapalita. No? Uh, sa Capitol, siyempre, ang nakakapanibago, ang aga sa loob nitong si Billy Ray Lo Robles at saka si Jonathan Uyloan. So, seven players sa pula naman ng Titans. Aba, ilan ang players ang naipasok dyan? No? Uh, Siyab na players na ang ginagamit nitong uh, si Coach Eric Gonzalez at this juncture with 3 and 58 remaining in the first period. Meanwhile, let's head over to Jess Constantino for a report. Jess? Hi, Ian. Randy Aminado si Simon Sadagon. Nalulungkot nga daw. Nung nararamdaman niya nung hindi siya nakalaro in the past two games, dahil ang pakiramdam niya nga ay hindi siya nakakatulong sa team. Kaya magkahalong saya at excitement. Yung feeling niya ngayon that he's finally given a go signal to play today. As for his cut on his left cheek, okay naman na daw yung pakiramdam niya. Pero as we see, he's wearing a mask for extra precautions. There's an additional force underneath the basket for the Titans. Let's see how this game will uh, unfold before us. Balik muna sa inyo, gentlemen. Thank you. That was Jess Constantino reporting for the Quezon Titans. And uh, nga, Simon Sandagon, for those who just joined us, will be, uh, I mean, is in the ball game for the first time in this series. Missed game one and two. So yung nga, yung if you are the Titans, uh, uh, tataas din yung kumpiyansa mo, knowing that Simon Sandagon is back. Yes. Bitoon! This time, wow. a long two. Mainit ang simula ni Chris Bitoon with eight out of the ten ng Capitals. Yep, he's, he's taken charge offensively uh, early on in the ball game. And Titans would have to adjust to Bitoon's positioning on the floor offensively. The North Star working well for the Capitals. As Gravera missing from outside, ahead oh, to Will Macaloni gets the bounce. Great pass there by uh, Chris Bitoon. And Macaloni, when your big man is running the floor and being the first guy sa inyong offense, things are really looking up for the Capitals. And good on Chris Bitoon to reward yung hustle ng kanyang big man. Fuentes is the pick from Cannon. Celes will switch. Goes to the corner, Torres. Attacks the hoop. Masyadong malalim. Robles will bring it down for Nueva Ecija. Goes to Ayloan. He will try from outside. Rattles out. Celes, offensive rebound and put back. Yep. You know, I think that's just one case na si Sandagon is trying to find his place on the floor. No? Medyo dito pa siya in terms of locating his man. Celes taking advantage. Kahit nasa likod niya si Sandagon, nakuha niya yung rebound and may put back pa. After that uh, early 4-0 start from Mark Alcala and the Titans, Capitals now up by 4, 14-10. Torres once again oh. gets another basket. You know, I, I, I really like the way that the uh, aggressiveness in the game of Thomas Torres. Dati pa jump, jump lang yan sa corner, but now he's looking at the crisis and taking advantage of those spots. Maybe looking to get an early second foul then. Yes. Dito kay uh, Will Macaloni. Gets the bump, floats it up and in. Wow, he sees it on target so far. Six points for Will Macaloni here in the first period. 
workhorse for the Capitals. Sama mo na rin ng five rebounds and a couple of assists all around game. In just the first period, para kay Will Macaloni, the best player of the conference. Inside to Cannon, nakabawi din naman agad. Well, that's a good pass. You know, pagpasok kay Torres ang may ibabo. Cannon just goes went straight for it, got the ball, and told and, uh, Felix was just late in covering Cannon in that play. A minute and a half left in the first period. Up by two are the Capitals, 16 to 14. It's Bitoon. Has had the hot hand. Swings it to Robles. To the middle. Finishes with the left. Yes. Bukas sa madali ng depensa ng Titans in that play, ha? Kaya maging madali para kay Robles na sumaksak mula sa three-point area sa may left side. And suddenly, yung energy din dito. Sa kayo sa convention center, medyo na-neutralize by the start of the Nueva Ecija Capitals. Torres muli. Goes to the corner. Gravera. Short on that three. Oiloan with the board. They have a four on three. Celes. Fishes for that foul. And malaki-laking isda ang nahulan dyan kay Simon Sandagon. Oh, the advantage of his speed over Sandagon, who was not properly uh, positioned to stop that dribble play of uh, Rob Celes. Samantala, punta muna tayo kay Sheila Salai Sai for report on the Capitals. Sheila? Quezon did a good job in stopping us to execute offensively. Ito ang bunga ni Coach Don Dulay. He also mentioned that the physicality of the Titans started at the beginning of the game. Kahit nakuha nilang ma-pick up ang face pagdating ng fourth quarter, huli na. Because the confidence of Quezon was already high. With only 10 players on the roster left and a day to rest. At itong bagay lang ang pinaalala ni Coach Don. Match the energy of the Titans. Use their experience wiser and play a bit harder. Anong masasabi niyo dyan? Hi, man. Prof. Randy? Abay, kung energy lang talaga, kailangan tapatan mo yan. Uh, kasi underdog ka, tama yung sa report ni Chile. Uh, Kapuna-puna na pag nagpa-apekto sila, nasisira yung laro nila. But definitely, ang apektado, Jaime, ay yung mga free throws. No? Tatlong free throws na namimintis ng uh, Capital Series in the first quarter. Dahil din siguro sa pressure ng crowd na ng gugulo, though the Capitals, this is the biggest lead of five. 19 to 14 nga. Just 42 seconds left. Ating opening salvo. Abundo. Trying to escape the defense of Cusejo. Hands it off. Mateliano for three. Gets that to go. Do Mark Mateliano on the spot. That's welcome to para sa kanila. Pagkot na Mark yung si Do Mark. Magandang balita yan. Almost. L.J. Gonzalez. Ginipitan niya na rin. Depensa niya rito. 19.8. Left in our game clock. Take another look. Malayo yun, ha? Yung trash niya. Hindi ka agad naka-adjust ang capitals doon sa play niya. Para ka tawin si Mateliano. Mateliano is one of those players na pag mainit, talagang makakarami yan from the three-point Mark, look at the three-point field goal shooting so far. Yeah, nakakadalawa na itong Capitals, uh, courtesy of Chris Bitoon. While for the Titans, that lone three-pointer, courtesy of Mateliano. Four seconds remaining. Abundo goes to Mateliano once again. Make it back-to-back. -back. No, sir. As the buzzer sounds to end the first action pack. Ten minutes of action for our game number three of our President's Cup Finals. Nueva Ecija will be up by two, 19 to 17. Babalik tayo, the second quarter. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C-Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure, Official Hydration Partner, Topcock Gentleman's Grooming, Prepare for Battle, your healthy life. Japanese Style Clinic. Erase Beauty Care. Isla Capsule. Marketing Partner. Bean Leaf. Media Partners. Fiber TV. Blast TV. Live at IBC 13. Back here in the Quezon Convention Center as the crowd filling up. Not just yung ating ara, pati yung bleachers dito. Professor Randy. Yes. Uh, the good news pa rito. Hindi sa side ng capital, ang kilala ko doon ay yung season coach nila, si Matt Macalintal, si Justin Cone, yung college. Sa Titan naman, yung kapatid ni Coach Eric, ay kaklase ko pala nung high school, kaya nung college, sa USC naman. So, it's a nice way of uh, looking at the familiar face, but in the first quarter, partner. 
Nagulat sila kay Mark Arcala, ang uh, Capitals. But Christy Thomas, three-point shooting, Will Macaloni getting his numbers. Uh, yun, yun ang nagdukto para sa Capitals. Samantala rin, Pupensa naman ang nag-struggle. Kita mo, no? Si LJ Gonzalez did not get his numbers. Gosum is a non-factor though starting uh, in the game para sa Pupunan ng Titans. So, it's a, the turn of the, the Titans to adjust come the second period with the second group. But despite those uh, key players that you mentioned, nga, Professor Randy, uh, it's still just a two-point lead mm -hmm. na inahabal dito ng Titans. So, yes. still a good sign if you are a Quezon fan na hindi pa nga gumagana si LJ Gonzalez, hindi pa gumagana si Will Gozum. It has been a contribution across the board mm -hmm. for the Titans trying to keep themselves in it. Dito naman sa Capitals, yun nga, Chris Bitoon leading the way. Yes. Eight points in that first quarter alone. Robles with a handle goes to Cosejo. Averaging 16 in the series. Uh, yep. Talaga naman yung consistency, yung kumpiyansa ng batang to, talagang tumatas. Nagkaroon ng switch, si Abuldong napunta sa kanya. Eh. <laughs> Nawadling pa ng flopping si Abundo. Sa play na yun, against uh, Nat Cosejo. Four-point lead now. Para sa Nueva Ecija, Gozo making a move against Cosejo. Bothered by the defense of Nat. Abundo tracks down that offensive rebound. Get another opportunity, just nine on their clock. Making a move to the corner. Mateliano for three. Off. Rebound battle. Loose ball foul will be whistled here. Tingnan natin kung kanino yung Sesenyas. Seems to be against Cosejo. Mung umapapaburad dito ng... Mahitats, ha? This is indeed on Cosejo. Oh. Siyang tumulak. Kaya tumama si Cosejo kay Gosun. Yung tulak nagmula kay Sandago. Yun ang pinupunta ng Capitals. Kung marambola. LJ Gonzalez. Kalo ang naatasan dito. Try and check LJ. He goes to Gozum. Finger roll inside. Masasabitan sa kanyang siko. Two shots coming up for Will Gozum. I think Gozum is made up his mind. He's gonna take it strong now. He's going to ask for that. Hindi niya nakihang po yung mga ganyang look sa first quarter. Okay, so he's going to ask for that. Mayroon na foul talaga si Cunado pag gagano'n. Nakakun na lang yung angating ko sa kanya talaga ang mapapawal mo yan eh. In case you missed it, may awarding tayo of best player of the conference prior to tip-off. It was the other Will that won the best player of the conference, Will Macaloney Jr. And before I continue with that thought, let's head over to Jess Constantino once again for another report. Jess? Hi, me and the professor. The Quezon Titans is anticipating na babawi itong Nueva Ecija after that game two loss in their home court. And although the physical aspect is already being challenged because of our schedule, hindi na nga daw iniinda ng Titans yung pagod dahil pati naman daw yung kalaban is most likely facing the same challenges. As mentioned in my pregame, the Titans took an eight-hour journey home after game two. Pero buti na nga lang daw, ay nanalo sila ng game. Kaya medyo hindi na nila ininda yung biyahe pa Quezon. For this game three, mental toughness na nga daw, yun talagang magiging sukatan. Our ball game is getting more intense, kaya balik na muna sa inyo, Jaime and Randy. Salamat muli, Jess Constantino, for that report. As Sandagon gets his first bucket in this series. On the other end naman, it was also a basket for the Capitals. So still a two-point advantage para sa Nueva Ecija, 23 to 21. Uy, Loan gets a step plus the foul. Continuation, ibibigay ba? Yes. Sugay niyo si Gregory, continuation of that foul of Don Mark Montaliano. But a couple of things here, Jaime, as you take a look at this move of Jonathan Montaliano. Meron ng mismatch si Abundo dito laban kay Nat Cosejo. Dalawang beses nakakita, dalawang beses nang umiskor doon. And then on the other part, sa Quezon Titans, that basket of Sandagon is something that they could build on. That's a confidence-building basket in favor of Sandagon, who's playing his first game here in the finals. Ailan, unable to complete that three-point play. And then, free throw, sinasabi natin, ayun mo, baka sa dulo, maging material yan. Lalo na kung maging hindi kita ng laban. The field goal shooting for the Capitals at a 55% clip, pero yung kanilang free throw shooting nga, just one out of five so far in this game. Gonzalez against Collado. TP hit, kick out, Mateliano. Just two seconds, Abundo will put it up. From way downtown, that rattles out. Rebound battle, Collado secures it. Ahead to Kahlo. Naman Kahlo making a move. They go to Cosejo. 
Yan kailangan magmandali dito. Cell 14 on their clock. As Robles will be fouled by LJ from behind. Oh, nagkakaroon ng mga switching tsaka mismatches sa low post, ano? Uh, so Nag-overmatch yung mga defenders. I'm talking about uh, LJ and Abundo here in the second period against a bigger and stronger uh, capital. That LJ's second personal. So we did talk about the uh, foul woes of uh, Will Macaloni Jr., LJ Gonzalez. Kailangan din mag-ingat. Gozum, Corral's that rebound. LJ now. Gets the switch to Billy Ray Robles. Eye to eye. To the middle. As Robles will be whistled for that personal. That would be a team foul number three. Para sa Nueva Ecija. That's why LJ is really a tough matchup. Oh, Ito po, sa harapan natin yung line. I mean, all, all set si Robles na harapin niya. But look at the quickness of LJ going left. And then he was just too late na. No? Ayaw na, din nila na si Kalu yung uh, nakapayong dito kay uh, LJ. Eh. Oh. So, uh, mas gusto nila yung matchup na yun. Yes. Billy Ray Robles. Well, yung laterals kasi ni Kalo, I think it's a little faster than, uh, and more efficient than, than Robles. Si Robles, mas malakas nga ang katawan niya, but it's more on the vertical, verticality of his game defensively. 7.09 remaining in our first half. Capital still in the lead, 25 to 21. Abundo. They go to Fuentes. Open for three. Short. Capitals, an opportunity to extend this four-point advantage. Kahlo, thought about the three, goes to Iloan. Poliado now. Iloan once again. Making a move. Goes to Poliado inside. Unable to finish. Good play sana para sa kadalina, no? Yung uh, give and go para kay Poliado. Fuentes stepping back. Gets that three to go. Judel Fuentes. Inip na inip na sila ng actress, eh. Del Fuentes, really, uh, one of those outside snipers. Nakalimanga siya in that game two victory. You know he should be a marked man from beyond the arc. Oliado though, unable to answer. Foul whistled here. It might be against Fuentes, trying to get that rebound away from Billy Ray. So far, uh, uh, out of position. Ito, bibitin si Goliano. Watch the left side of the screen. Abundo and uh, Robles. And yes, it's good. It's on uh, Judel Fuentes. And if you are wondering bakit nagwawala ang Quezon Convention Center, Professor Randy, uh, one of the crowd favorites, Topeng Lagrama, checking in yes. for the first time. And during uh, pre yung introductions natin in pregame, this player received the loudest ovation. Kalo will miss on that three-pointer. Oh, Ayan, oh, tingnan mo, nahawak pa lang yan. Dini-dribble pa lang ni Tupeng. Confirm, partner. Confirm talaga. Confirm, no? <laughs> Hindi tayo namamalik mata. Gozom inside. Again, the two-man game. Small to big. Kasi yung Gozom, ha, yung gitna is open for him. So you're, you'll be questioning the defensive stance for the bike, the capital. The Titans take back the lead, now up by one. Minerva almost coming up with that steal. Colliado gets that to trickle in. All presses of mind, that is Colliado. He's not much able to pass the ball, but the space that he creates in that presence inside. The space, you know, it's very hard to contain. When he's in position, he's got it. Off the glass, Ayaw. Loose ball, scramble. Players on the floor. Cosejo will come out of the crowd. Koseho pa rin. Sidesteps his way through! Yes. What a series he's been playing to si Koseho. Partner, ang hirap nung agawa ng bola sa loob, ha? Tapos yung pag-sidestep na, nahihirapan mo ang kopya yun, eh. Nakaupo ka lang, eh. But to him, no? Not to say six points. Six points so far, indeed. And look at that. It could be a foul against Gosum. Yes, we're knocking out uh, Koseho in that way. Again, na position na niya. Will be Gozum's second take another look after Cosejo came up with that rebound, eluding the defense of Judel Fuentes. Oh, simply, simply sidestep, lang. nothing fancy about it. Very effective. Cosejo, you know, we, we've been speaking volumes about this guy, not Cosejo. Game one performed excellent. Game two, despite that loss, monster Even double better. double. Talagang uh, bit bit niya. In this game number three, despite this uh, hometown crowd of Quezon against the Capitals. Sila dalawa ni Chris Betoan, I should say, no, the most consistent guy to the floor para sa Capitals. 
as the basketball. And then, ah, kakasabi mo lang, Coseo to Biton for another three. His third of the game, double digits na. Si Chris Biton with 11. There's, there's really the puzzle to be solved by the Titans here in this ball game. Sila dalawa, no? They're in and out, they're puzzling the defense of the Titans. Biggest lead for the Capitals now at 6, 32 to 26. To the corner, Ronyo. Short, we go with the board. Ahead to Biton. Have a two on two. He will pull up for three. Tamang heat check lang. He gets the ball back. Stand to work with. Looking for Wigo on the block. <laughs> Kahlo. Will lose that basketball stolen by Fuentes. Coseo counter steal. Ooh, block from behind by Gravera. Wigo recovers. Block once again. Gravera back to back. Big blocks. <laughs> Fuentes gets the box. Telegraphed by Biton. And oh. the pass is Chris Biton. Oh, one defensive play after the other, huh? Both teams doing it on defense. Kalo atake. Iniluwa. And uh, even worse, will be called for an offensive foul, warding off. Kanyang defender. Oh, it's a bouncing with him in that play. So RJ Minerva still left on the floor. Was the recipient of that contact. Take another look, uh, Professor. Mm. Uh, was trying to protect the ball, pero yung spatio ng defender niya ang inabot dun eh. And Minerva got right on the chin. Well, is, uh, the, nasa finals na tayo. <laughs> we're not playing checkers here, so expect the contact to happen. Officials, of course, uh, would want to take another look. Making sure there wasn't anything uh, extracurricular. Uh, of course, the Titans are hoping that magkakaroon ng elevation ng ano. Uh, but it's just a regular offensive foul call against Emma Kahlo. After Carlo. review, the goal stands. It's offensive foul. So nothing Kahlo further. Just an offensive foul against Emma Kahlo. So no upgrade. The regular offensive foul is called. That will be Kahlo's second of this game. It's a timeout. Will be called here for Ardito Sakezon Titans, still trailing by 6, 32 to 26. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure, Official Hydration Partner, Top Cock Gentleman's Grooming. Prepare for battle. Your healthy life. Japanese style clinic. Erase beauty care. Isla capsule. Marketing partner. Bean leaf. Media partners. Fiber TV. Blast TV. Live at IBC 13. Kayo pa rin ay nanonood ng President's Cup 2024 Finals Game 3. Live po tayo dito sa Lucena Convention Center. Kung may isang player ang Nueva Ecija Capitals may malaking papel na ginagampanan ngayon, ito ay si Chris Bitoon. Dahil siya ang nag-iisang point guard, Chris said that they have to stay connected and focused sa loob. With the role that he has to portray, kinukuha daw niya ang kumpiyansa sa insayo at kay Coach Don Gulay, who is pressuring him to be more aggressive on offense. Shoot more dahil he is a natural point guard. Second quarter pa lang, double digits na ang score ni Chris, kaya obvious ang sagot niya. Challenge accepted. Gentlemen? And uh, Coach Don Dulay, uh, this, first, this guy is a point guard as well. So oh. kung may matututunan ka rin naman from uh, Coach Don Dulay, might as well absorb everything and Chris Bitoon in uh, putting that in full display dito sa game number three and throughout this final series so far. Lagrama trying to elude Bitoon. Alcala back in the ball game for the Titans. Exploded for uh, four early points. He will try from outside. Gets that three to go. Wow. Ito na. Balik na kagad ang energy ng Quezon. Yep. Ang three points siya talaga yung impact niya. No? And, B and Bulloan was already there. But just better offense on that good defensive put up by uh, Bito uh, Uloan. Ang panggising eh. No? Wigo goes to Celes. This is off the glass. Ayaw. Fuentes tracks it down. Aatake. Slows down just enough. Wow. For that finish. You know, that's just heads up play for Fuentes. He was able to screen off by pushing a bit onto the side, the right side, his defender for that open lane. 
Balik na naman sa isa ka lamang dito ng Nueva Ecija. Celes gets that basket to go, answering and quieting this Quezon crowd plus the foul. Ano effective yung ganun stilo mo eh. Na habang nagigigay na, no, we will go our way. Pero ang uh, sakit sa Titans, again yung right side, open ha. Nakalow sila sa, uh, sa left. Is, ang bagay ng reaction. Celes getting the ball and the foul committed by Minerva. Nga po, Cherik trying to discuss their coverage with Topeng Lagrama. Sinapakaluwag nga nung side na yun, as you pointed out. Ang dali eh, nakalabas si Celis, kumat lang siya, nakuha yung bola sa may right side. Almost uncontested, foul to both three-point play pa. Celis completes the old-fashioned three-point play, answering yung three-pointer nga from Mark Alcala earlier. 35 to 31, four-point lead pa rin para sa Capitals. No look, Fuentes to Minerva, what a pass! Grabe, that's gonna be a highlight partner. A highlight play. You know what, timeout tayo rito, just to kind of appreciate that assist coming from Judel Puentes. Take another look. Sino ba namang, yun naman. To RJ Minerva, the oohs and ahs dito sa ating Quezon Convention Center. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C-Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure, Official Hydration Partner, Topcock Gentleman's Grooming, Prepare for Battle, Your Healthy Life, Japanese Style Clinic, Erase Beauty Care, Isla Capsule, Marketing Partner, Bean Leaf, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, live at IBC 13. Back with the last 2 and 23 of this ball game, uh, of the first half rather. Titan still trailing by 2, 35 to 33. Performance of uh, Mark Alcala. Talaga namang that, uh, tamang boost na kinakailangan nitong Quezon. 7 points para kay Mark Alcala and this guy, Judel Fuentes, also finding his rhythm. Doing it uh, not just on uh, the shots, but also this no-look pass lang naman. Napakasarap panoorin ulit. Oh. Parang alam kong malalagay sa super book yun. Mamaya, ala talaga, matalinong player talaga si Judel Puentes. Kahit saan mo sumahin eh. And he's got the ability. And this guy, Mark Alcala, is surprising everyone with his entry here in Game 3. Alam mo, labanan ng mga surpresa yan eh. Akala mo, magkakaroon ng surpresa yung natalong team. But here, it's a Titans with a surprise package in Mark Alcala. Minsan talagang may bunot kay. Talagang makakagulat. Macaloni against Minerva. Able to get that basket. Fighting for an offensive rebound. There's a hawak. Itatawag dito against Twill. Just the first. Yeah, but there's the penalty. And Nueva Ecija, the Datum Luto free throws. He was, he was put into that spot to give up that foul. He missed the shot. And against the Grama, oh, may hawak. Eh. Uh, so, Tupeng. Will have his chance of uh, scoring his first point in the ball game. Both teams actually are in the penalty. The last two o three of the second quarter. Nagrama though will miss on that first. And uh, rinig mo yung panghihinayang. Oh, ano ano dito sa atin? Yung mga fans ay nanghihinayang eh. Eh nagpagupit pa si Topeng. Dinalo na nagbuk ang bata. <laughs> Bakit tama? Ah, Pagkait magpagupit ay ah. oh, pro. Wala nang yaya. <laughs> Able to tie this ball game. One point lead for the Capitals. Under two minutes left. Starting first half. Oilon to the baseline. Looking for Rigo. Stolen by Lagrama. Speeding up court. Goes to Judel Buet. That really got Macaroni cross. They were on one side and Lagrama giving it to Quentin. I know Fuentes was able to score that layup, pero yung uh, pinalakpakan, yung assist ni, ni, ni Topeng. <laughs> Lamang na naman dito ang Titans ng isa, 36 to 35. Biton. Nice fake. Inside to Celes, blocked by Minerva. Opiso goes to Fuentes. Oh, that's a big foul lifting. Yes. Nailang. Oh, may, parang may iba yung pinaplano niya dun eh. Oh, bit-bit yung ball eh. Sayang yung pagkakataon na yun. A little too eager. This, look at this, uh, Lagrama. Ganun lang kakambio. Ganun mo lang yung bole. 
Yung ginawa ni, yung ginawa ni Puente sa bit eh. Sabi mo hindi na tinatawag yan, Randy. Oh, yung yung uh, dribbling kan, violation. Kanina, hindi. Kaya tinawagan eh. <laughs> Oilohan with a step back. Too strong. O piso with a board. Well, na nahimig ang Capitals. Four consecutive uh, offensive uh, stories sila. Walang naging uh, resulta positive. 55 seconds left. Lagrama. Tend to work with. Uses the Minerva pick. Bounces it to Minerva. Blocked by Uylohan. They have it 2-1-1. Ahead of the pack is Jonathan. Easy layup. As the Capitals take the lead back. 37-36. to 36. The Titans. All for some time as we take another look. That defensive stop as for Jonathan Uylohan and Bitoon rewarding him on the other end. All alone was Uylohan. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure, Official Hydration Partner, Topcock Gentleman's Grooming, Prepare for Battle, Your Healthy Life. Japanese Style Clinic, Erase Beauty Care, Isla Capsule, Marketing Partner, Bean Leaf, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, live at IBC 13. 41.3 seconds left in our first half of action. Dito pa rin tayo sa Quezon Convention Center for game number three. Between the Neva Isia Capitals and the Quezon Titans, a series is tied one apiece. This is now a virtual best of three. I'm Emen oh. Diharkis, and si, uh, Professor Randy Sakdalan oh, alongside Jess Constantino rain. and Sheila Salaysay. But the crowd dito sa ating uh, Quezon Convention Center, kung saan nag-shift na nga tayo, naagaw na ng uh, Quezon, ang home court advantage after that victory in game number two, of course. Mr. Farley Aguila, Derek Nori Uy, on your screens earlier. Shoutout na rin natin. Nudge Productions. Yes. Helping us uh, get this game to your screens. Kung saan man kayo nanonood. You know, IBC 13, YouTube, Facebook. Thank you po sa inyong suporta. Fuentes. Able to escape momentarily and taking advantage wow. of that lane given. Grabe yung uh, scorer's mentality ni Fuentes. Man. Uses the speed very well. Makes it back to the left and goes to his right. Shot clock is off. Good hold for the last shot if you are the Capitals. Makaloni makes a move. Block once again by Minerva. Taps it to Bitoon. Still eight to work with. Bitoon. Siya naman ang makakatakas. Scoops it up. Won't get that basket. Wigo will be blocked. A second remaining. Puentes. Alcala. Short. I think that basket wouldn't have counted anyway. But the Titans all smiles because they will be up by one. Heading into our second half of action. Masaya itong Quezon crowd so far. Oh, what a hot sequence next to game. It's a defensive-oriented first half that we've seen. Score under 40 for both teams. Back and forth ball game so far as we look at our dumper super move of the game. This was that, uh, not that basket by Judel Fuentes, but rather that assist from <laughs> Topeng Lagrama. Nalito nga ang uh, depensa dito ng Capitals, Macaloni and Celes. Looking at Lagrama, <laughs> pero Fuentes pala. Anga Bibira, and at the half, it would be 38 to 37 in favor of the Quezon Titans. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure. Official hydration partner, Topcock Gentleman's Grooming. Prepare for battle. Your healthy life. Japanese Style Clinic. Erase Beauty Care. Isla Capsule. Marketing Partner, Bean Leaf. Media Partners, Fiber TV. Blast TV. Live at IBC 13.
sa basket Tipay ng mindset ang napili na paliksahan Magkatagisan, pagpapawisan Sa pagalingan, papatunayan Kahit paminsan maagawan Di titigilan na mabawian Mahihirapan man, may sisigaw na Kaya mo yan, kaya lalaban lang Mas lalo mo pang gagalingan Kahit pa malihado, di pa rin payag na matalo Aabutin yung ring para yung tira Pasok sigurado, ano man ang magyari Hey, Hoop fans, welcome to the President's Cup 2024 Top 10 Plays of the Week. Let's dive straight into the action, starting with number 10. Himself decides to take it all the way for two. Ito may shift na energy para dito sa San Juan Kings. Everything, everyone is going at a higher gear right now compared to the Capitals. At number 9. Behind the sky play. Maguliano able to finish on that alley -oop. Beautiful basketball play there by Nueva Ecija. It was their turn to run and they need more of that in this game. Top 8. Has been one of their better friends inside to Calisan. Nice find from Hernandez. Michael Calisan has been an excellent operator underneath. Making it on 7th. Oh, good pass. Oh, oh, nice yes. feed there by Will Gonzo into the cutting. Uh, Rodel Gravera, first two points for Rodel Gravera coming off the bench, Professor. But, uh, you know what, but you know, with Gosso playing the outside. So. Sliding into number six. You know, that's the value of the Del Fuentes. No, look at that pass. Oh. Minerva will score a three-point oh. play for the Kansas Titans. They're very patient with their offense. Through at number five. He's a team song. These are wondering, Noy Africa is the singer of our PSL team. Does JP Maguliano really? Magandagi sing JP Maguliano. Oh, off the bench, playing very well. Cracking into the top four. His penetration scoops it up and in. And a beautiful smile from Michael Huico. He loves his work, Michael Huico, with another excellent off timing layup. Podium time at number three. Miranda spin cycle! Adrian <laughs> Miranda showing the pedigree. You know, he has a lot of potential, but uh, in a team like San Juan. At number two. Vinyan LJ. The drive, early release. And he gets the kind bounce. Nice move wow. by what, LJ Gonzalez. What a quarter of the big seven points. So... And the top play of the week. LJ with a hesitation. He shoots and scores, and the lead is back wow. down to 10. What did you call uh, ice in the veins? That's a wrap for our top 10 plays of the week. Stay tuned for more basketball brilliance. And until next time, keep the hoop spirit alive. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by. Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure, Official Hydration Partner, Topcock Gentleman's Grooming, Prepare for Battle, Your Healthy Life, Japanese Style Clinic, Erase Beauty Care, Isla Capsule, Marketing Partner, Bean Leaf. Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, live at IBC 13. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure. Official hydration partner, Topcock Gentleman's Grooming. Prepare for battle. Your healthy life. Japanese Style Clinic. Erase Beauty Care. Isla Capsule. Marketing partner, Bean Leaf. Media partners, Fiber TV. Blast TV. Live at IBC 13. No, ang mauna sa inyo, o, oh, turuan, turuan tayo, yan tayo, kaya dahil nagtuturuan kayo, ako ang pipili, okay, okay, game, ini, mini, mini, mo, 
Dahil napili kita, ikaw ang malas na mauna sa ating PSL Half Court Challenge. O parang Maiko, gawin na natin to once again. Our PSL Super Layup Challenge. Simulan na natin. In three, in two, and in one. Ikot na yan. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Let's go. Layup. Ups. 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 Para na kayo naman ako. Munti ka na. Pero munti ka lang. Ikaw naman, kuya. O, siya na mauna. Ay, siya na pangalawa. Siya na nandito eh. O, game. Nako, nawala yung ngiti. Ito yung dalawa ang humingiti. Kasi mamaya pa kayo. Ito, nawala yung ngiti niya. O, game. In three, in two, and one. Iikot na yan. O, game, game, game. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Game, lay up now. Ops, ops, ops. Mapaso kaya? Ah, ayun, palakpakan. Naman dyan, para kay kay kuya. Ito na. Nako, kanina yung nakangiti ka. Ngayon, nawala yung ngiti mo ah. O, game, dahil dyan, simulan na natin ang pag-ikot in three. And in two, and in one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Bibigay mo. <laughs> Ayun lang. Medyo malayo. Medyo malayo ang tira ni Kuya. Ano, approve? Okay ka lang, Brad. Okay lang. Okay lang yan, siyempre. Okay lang yan. Okay lang yan. Napatawang mo naman kami. Approve. Approve. Okay. Nako. Hanggang bukas sa tayan. Pero sige, dito naman tayo. Kay Kuyang na amanban. Ikot na yan. In three. And in two. And in one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Game. Ops. 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 Ayun. Palakpakan. Mukha mahirap yun, mahirap. Mahirap na laro yun, mga kaibigan. Pero naitawid ng ating mga kasama dito. Ayan, appear tayo dyan. Appear, appear, appear. Ayan, good job, good job. Ito, kuya. Nako si kuya, ang gambuka sa atahong over nito. Pero maraming salamat. Maraming salamat sa inyo. So, proceed na tayo, paring Maiko. Ayan, eh, siyempre, meron tayo mga price na ibibigay. Ayan, dahil <laughs> nag, nagmukha kayong ewan, dahil din sa amin naman yun eh. So, bibigyan na namin kayo ng papremyo. Pero meron din tayo pangalawang laro pa, hindi pa po tapos ang ating kasiyan. Ngayong halftime, pero siyempre, picture muna, taas nyo yan. Ayan, special thanks. To Carlos PH Sportswear para sa ating or para sa kanilang mga jersey, mga shirt, mga shorts. And I, uh, maraming salamat sa inyo pero hindi pa po tapos ang ating kasiyahan. Meron pa tayo PSL Coast to Coast Challenge. Pero syempre, raffle pala muna. No? Syempre, Involve mo na natin ang crowd. Kita nyo, hinahandaan ni paring Maiko ang dalawang pamimigay namin na no other than Finn Coron Shoes. Okay, game. Game, sinong gustong manalo? Sinong gustong manalo ng sapatos palakpakan? Magingay for our PSL Super Raffle Draw. Okay, game! Game, game, game! Huwag na tayong magsayang ng oras. Simulan na natin to. Alright, pipili na ako. Okay, onting ikot. Onting ikot. Pipili ako, hindi to basta-basta. Nako, mukhang gusto ko ako ata manalo ah. Pero sige, kailangan natin pumili. And ayun! 
Number two, nine, nine. Meron tayong corresponding number dito. Hanapin lang natin sa glit. Ayun, nahanap na natin si number 299. Pasensya na po kung mali ang aking pronunciation. No? Kasi kayo, pat na handwriting nyo eh. Pero, ayan ito, si Mr. John Vincent O. Parafina. Kung tama ba yun? Tama ba yun? Pasensya na ulit kung mali. Medyo alangan na handwriting eh. Pero yun, John Vincent O. Parang fina ako, narinig niyo po ako. Punta po kayo dito, talon kayo, punta at center court. Kunin niyo ang atensyon namin, sayang po ang Finn Cotton Shoes. Again, 299, Mr. John Vincent. Parang fina. O sige, proceed muna tayo. Okay, okay, sino susunod? Okay. Okay, for our next winner, ayan, tutulungan tayo ng Mr. Loudmouth. Medyo marami ang sumali sa ating PSL Super Raffle. Number 152. Nako, doktorata, nagsulat na ito. Rosella Aldueza. Tama po ba yun? Rosella Aldueza. Please claim your prize right here. Please claim your prize. Your pair of Finn Cotton shoes. Meanwhile, meron po tayong nanalo right here. Ayan kay Kuya. Ayan, congratulations sa'yo, Kuya. Picture ka muna dyan. But in the meantime, number 152 po kay Rosella Aldueza. Alright, so yun po ang ating super raffle draw. Pero again, hindi pa po tapos ang ating kasiyahan. Meron pa po tayong PSL Coast to Coast Challenge. Ayan, kita nyo naman po, may mga obstacles tayo. Merong damit sa dulo, may cap, may sapato. So i-demo yan syempre ng ating paring Maiko and paring Balong. Ay, nandyan ba? O mukhang si Kuparing Maiko lang ata. Ayan, panoorin po. Ganito po ang magiging sequence ng ating palaro. Ayan, paring Maiko, paring Balong, bibiling ako ng tatlo at sisimulan nyo. Game! Game! Okay, and three, and in two, and in one. Let's go! Kita natin, susotin po nila yung mga nakalagay sa sahig, sapatos, t-shirt, cap, and tsaka po nila sisimulan ang obstacle. Kita natin, paring Maiko, nako, ang galing, ang galing, paring balong na sa kabila, unahan po yan for the layup. Okay, first layup is good. Tapos ito po ang susunod, another obstacle. Ayan si paring Maiko, kita natin, ikot, ikot doon, ikot sa kabila. Then, another layup. Tapos, ayan, for the last step, punta po sa gitna. Inom ng tubig, ubusin po yan. And ayan, bibigay yung mic sa kung sinong mauna at isisigaw nyo dito, Pinoy ang Pina! Alright, ready? Partner, mukhang ready na ata, mga kotesos po. Ayan, 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 meron tayong mga cutie pie na naman o hindi masyado. Kayo na lang umusga. Ayan. Ayan. Sa kabila itong si Kuya. And si Kuya, dito tayo. Alright. Okay. Gets mo na. Approve tayo sa kabilang side. Approve na ba tayo dyan? Kuyang taga-buzzer. Pwede yung pa-assist naman dyan. Pagpindot. Ay, pagsabi ko. Nang 3, 2, 1. Papindot mo ang buzzer. Okay. Wait lang. Wait lang. Nag-bees pa po ang ating mga contestants. Ayan, ayan. Okay, ready na. Okay, okay. And three, and in two, and in one. Simulan natin. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. 
Paunan po yan, hindi po yan papagalan. Nere, remind ko lang kayo. Okay? Okay? Nako, wala na bang ibibilis yan? Wala na bang ibibilis yan? Yan na po yung pinakamainas. Na nako, nako, Mr. Loudmouth. Nako, wala na atang ibibilis yan. Yan na ba yun? Yan na yung pinakamabilis. Nako, matatalo ko yung pag ganyan. Okay. okay. Good first lay up. Okay, paunahan po yan. Nako, nahulog pa yung cup ni Guya. Tira natin kung makakabol pa. Ito si Kuya Narin. Nakakuha na na ko. Sorry, Miss Don. Lay up. Takbo sa tubo. Takbo. Uubusin. 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 Uubusin yan. Okay. Og, 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 og. Nako. Nako. Nagkakalat pa si Guya. Pag nadula si Chris Bitton. Kasalanan mo. Ubos! Ubos! Okay! Nako! <laughs> Naging waterfalls ka, Guya! Pero, okay, nauna si Guya! Alright! Ito, Pinoy, ang bida! Kapos na po, kapos na hinig ha, partner! Nako! Congratulations! Para sa ating PSL Wheeling! Ano ang pangalan mo at isigaw mo, taga saan ka? Riverport, taga Mayo, Roji! Bala ka pa! Alright, maraming salamat pero kay Kuya naman, napagod din siya kausapin din natin. Congratulations, dahil sa lakas ng loob po. Pakisigaw ang pangalan po at tagasan ka. Jim Will po, Tagamayo Crossing. Alright, maraming salamat sa inyong dalawa na ko. Kanina may nagmukhang ewan, ngayon may dalawang napagod naman ako. Pero yun, maraming salamat sa inyo and maraming salamat po, Lucena City. Tayo po mag-enjoy para sa second half ng ating game at i-cheer ang ating Quezon Titans! The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C-Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge FiberX, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure, Official Hydration Partner, Topcock Gentleman's Grooming, Prepare for Battle, Your Healthy Life, Japanese Style Clinic, Erase Beauty Care, Isla Capsule, Marketing Partner, Bean Leaf, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, Live at IBC 13. At the half, Quezon Titans up by one, 38 to 37 against Nueva Ecija Capitals in this game number three of our President's Cup 2024 finals. Series tied at one apiece. Look at the highlights in the first two quarters. Capitals really capitalized at the mm. beginning of this ball game, uh, Professor Randy. But the Quezon Titans slowly but surely, mga dinahan dahan nila yung kanilang recovery, and now they're taking the lead heading to our second half. Well, the usual uh, suspect para sa opponent ng uh, Capitals to take a look at this drive by uh, Billy Ray Robles. Obviously, the most efficient player, but sa opponent ng uh, Titans, may mga sagot sila. Of course, the biggest surprise is Mark Arkala with seven points to start uh, for the first half. Look at these numbers, partner. Huh? Sa field goal, dalawa higit ang uh, nice shoot ng Nueva Ecija at the field. Pero ang magiging problema nila dyan dito, okay, ang uh, Capitals, sa bench points, halos pareha, uh, damang pa nga sila eh. Yung points for turnovers na hindi natin makita rito, at saka yung, uh, uh, tawag dito, yung errors, no? Five to six, but dito parang damang pa nga ang capitals, but they yielded a one-point lead to the uh, Titans at the end of the first half. Let's more learn more about the Quezon Titans through Jess Constantino at the half. Hi, me and Randy inside the dugout. Coach Eric Gonzalez of the Quezon Titans commended his team. He said that he liked the effort, especially on rebounding. Uh, but ang gusto nga daw niya will be a strong finish. Kaya for the second half nga, he asked the Titans to sigla to win lahat ng rebounds. Be confident. Don't hesitate to take the open shots. And lastly, ang mahalaga nga daw ay magtulong-tulong sila inside at walang mag-relax. Back to you, gentlemen. Let's go! 
it has been kind of that theme. Thank you, Jess Constantino, with that report na parang balance eh, nagiging atake dito ng Quezon in the absence of uh, mag the performance as well. We see Fuentes hitting on that three-pointer. 14 now para kay Judel Fuentes. Maga wala pang gozo, wala pang AJ Gonzalez, but uh, still, a four-point advantage for Quezon. Well, it turns out itong si Judel Fuentes really in this ballgame. He's been scoring very well and consistently on the floor. Aceles misses on that layup, looking ahead to Mark Alcala. Gets the finish over uh, the defense of Eman Calo. Nine now para dito sa surpresa yep. ng Titans. Mark Alcala. Totally perfect in the script and partner with the Alcala. No? Yung uh, nine points na yan. Napakalaki in this close oh. ball game. And Celis, they mentioned that in the key to the game dito para sa Capitals. He's starting to light up the board. So, binawi. Kanina ganyan din, di ba? Nakashoot ng tres, tapos nakashoot point play siya. Is that, that uh, move by Robbie Celis? Oh, is uh, uh, putting a lot of pressure on those defensively by scoring. As Celis, though, unable to complete on that three-point play. Apat pa rin kalamangan dito ng Quezon. Early in our third quarter. LJ Gonzalez against Chris Bitoon. Into attack. Spins in the lane! Able to finish. Tapi ikan mau kau ni Celis. Oh, everything but the basket para sa kapitan ng Titan. Si LJ Vidi has to pick up his offensive game. Speaking of picking up his offense, Chris Bitton so far. Yes. Now has 13. Good baseline move against Judel Fuentes. Too late yung help na nangyari. Chris Bitton, talagang whenever he decides to facilitate, he picks up those dimes. Pero kung gusto rin niyang scumore, Alam mo kaya rin talaga eh. It's Gozum from outside. Yep. This well, might wake up his offense. Oh, uh, kasi hindi rin naman nakatutok si Rob Celis sa defense ng ini. Eh. Enough for Gozum to confidently take a shot. Six so far para kay Will. As Macaloni. Pump fake na pakagat si RJ Minerva. He will head to the line for two. Well, good idea the part of Eman Carlo to involve Macaloni. The Capitals cannot win a game without Macaloni in double figures. Maliwanag yan. He's no best player of the country for nothing. Hindi nga po nakakaalam. We had an awarding earlier and it is Will McLeone Jr. winning our best player of the conference sa ating President's Cup 2024. Now let's hear from Sheila Salaysay who has a report for Nueva Ecija. For the Titans, ending the first half with only one-point lead, assistant coach Rob Wainwright acknowledges that Quezon is a great offensive team. Para sa Capitals, they need to challenge the shots of Quezon, lessen their turnovers, and be more in control of the ball. Kailangan maging precise din sila kung ano ang gusto nila mangyari, and that is to execute on both ends, offense and defense. I mean, Prof. Randy? Thank you, Dawa Sheila Salaysay, reporting for the Nueva Ecija Capitals. So far, they've been uh, hanging around. Sandagon hits on that baseline jumper. 47 to 43, four point lead pa rin para sa Quezon. So, dalawang uh, offensive set nila, Gosum and Sandagon. By the way, si Gosum, pinalitan ni Sandagon, ha? Na parang si Gosum, napalitan, napalitan, ha? Defensive stop there from the Titans. Just one and done for the Capitals. Fuentes once again, straight away three. Battles out. Bitton with the board. Saan na rin magbababa rito against LJ Gonzalez. Trailing by four. Are the Capitals. Look for Robbie Celis. He attacks. Steps back. Short. Rebound para kay Simon. So parehong kapila ko parin ha. Pag bumintis, walang chance for an offensive recovery. Has been a defensive uh, kind of theme. Dito sa ating third quarter so far. Fuentes from outside. Gets another three-pointer. Judel Fuentes. He uh, now has 17. Ano, sa galilang galing at si Rokes ko sa play na yun. Ang ma-appreciate mo sa Titans, Fuentes is getting to the ball where he can shoot and make an impact. Nahirapan ang ikuntin ko si Judel as Macaloni. Unable to finish inside. Well, hirap talaga si Macaloni if he's coming from the right side. No? He would have to make an adjustment. Gonzalez gets it to Minerva. Short stab. Tatalbog, papasok. As RJ Minerva gives the Quezon Titans their biggest lead of this ball game. 52-43. It would be a nine-point lead.
Para sa Quezon with 6 and 28 remaining. Take another look. Almost a botched play but the presence of mind by LJ Gonzalez to get that ball to RJ Minerva. Na mga sila dito. The PSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure, Official Hydration Partner, Topcock Gentlemen's Grooming, Prepare for Battle, Your Healthy Life. Japanese Style Clinic, Erase Beauty Care, Isla Capsule, Marketing Partner, Bean Leaf, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, live at IBC 13. Still here in the Quezon Convention Center, punung puno po ang ating venue ngayong araw to witness game number three of this best of five final series between Nueva Ecija and Quezon. The series tied one to one. Of course, look at the President Chris Bautista enjoying the action here this evening. Oh, uh, the Titans in and out in the third quarter. The big men scoring uh, on short stop and the Dimfuentes scoring also from the outside and from a timeout. A turnover committed by Eman Calo in the drive and play. What a quarter explosion for the Titans. 40 to 6. This is the start that you're looking for if you are Quezon to also activate, activate itong uh, crowd mo na medyo natahimik nung umabante yung uh, Nueva Ecija earlier. Gonzalez, nice draw pass to Minerva, but huling-huli ni Billy Ray. Oh, hesitation kay Minerva dun eh. He's, he should be able to take it slow. Maganda na hand off para sa kanya. Pero he needs that power dribble to make it inside. Some fake and then... Puentes muli. Can't hit on another one. Jose with the board. Gets it to be torn. 14 to 6 nga. Titans have outscored. Nueva Ecija in this quarter. Smackaloni gets a foul from Minerva. Oh, he's a side step to the right. But still with using his left hand. Minerva picking the foul. Macaloni so far, best player of the conference nga natin. Eight points to go with six boards. Has been Chris Bitoon, top scoring for the Capitals. Sa Mandala sa kabila, Judel Puentes nga, ang ziling away. Run away, uh, scoring. Well, sila ni uh, Mark Alcala, sila yung one-two punch sa uh, scoring. Not the usual suspect para sa kukunan ng uh, Titans. But enough to give them this time for this down to eight with that basket of Will Macaloni. Closing in on double digits is Will. Now at nine. Ano mo isang nawawala sa laro ng uh, Capitals eh, yung three-point shooting eh. Kaya sila nahihirapan kumalas dito and give position for Macaloni. Doon lumuluwag yung uh, spasyo eh para kay Will to operate. Kasi ang yung problema, si Bitoon, siya rin ang didistribute ng bola eh, siya rin ang tumitira ng press. Capitals are 3 out of 10 from beyond the arc so far in this game. Gonzalez. Goes to Abundo. He get it to Cannon. Swings it. Puentes muli. Stepping back for another 3. Masyadong malakas. Tapik mapupunta kay Cannon. Gets it to Gonzalez. Floats it up off the glass. As a foul will be whistled against a capital. Oh, yung mga ng tiki-taki. Mga pipito ka sa home court ka ng... Uh... Ang mali ng Capitals, second foul yun ni Bacaloni, hindi na na-track down yung mintis ni Fuentes from long range. Let's speak about one of the key para dito sa Quezon Titans is to try and put Will Macaloni into foul trouble. Well, malayo pa, second foul pa lang yun ni Will. You know, ang nakakuha, Harold kept it alive for them and then open lane, etong si LJ squeezing it in. Pero wala sa elemento si LJ offensively in this game, partner. Still scoreless is LJ. Amo, yung numbers niya, wala yan. Although napalta dyan ni Mark Alcala, simili sa pagpasok dito. Ang nagbibigay ni LJ Gonzalez po para sa Titans, he's able to deliver that ball and give Fuentes, you know, yung, yung, yung concentration to shoot the basket. Nil from the free throw line si LJ. Lalim din talaga ng Kezo na professor, no? Whoa! As Will Macaloni hits yep. from inside plus the foul. 
Oh, coming from the outside, yung drive na gano'n, mabagal si Cannon dati na di para sigilan si Macalone in this play. Inaabangan niya rito, then from the outside, yung drive is yes, contact na kagad. To his strong side, oh. as you pointed out, yes. Professor Randy earlier, napatsa ang buhelo nito ni Will Macalone sa kaliwa. Mas ma-effective siya. Tsaka si Cannon, mas magandang bumantay kay Macalone kapag naka-low post play siya, yung bumabangga yung katawan, hindi yung nag-dribble from about 10-12 feet out. So Macalone completing the three-point play and squeezing some points. Just a four-point advantage for the Titans. The Capital staying in it. Now trailing just by four. Halfway through our third, Lagrama goes to Abundo. Tend to shoot. Lagrama is fouled by Bitoon. A very deceptive play ni Topeng. Kagat si Chris Bitoon. Hindi sa rin pwedeng i-take advantage ng Titans. You put pressure to Chris Bitoon. Admittedly, isa lang ang point guard ng Capital. Uh, but they're not putting enough pressure on Chris Bitoon to get him into foul trouble or to at least keep aw him away from shooting those trees. We had a look at uh, Coach Eric Gonzalez, of course. Sabi niya nga, depends ang puhunan talaga nila when it comes to uh, winning basketball games. It's been a bit of a low-scoring affair, I would say. 52 to 48, halfway through our third period. Abundo. Trying to cross up, Macaloni misses on that jumper or... I thought he would get the bounce. Bitoon looking ahead. Finds Macaloni. Touchdown! Yep. Alam mo, last line niya kasi doon si Abuno maliit eh. And Macaloni was just, you know, comfortably ahead of them. Have the advantage. So, this has been Macaloni's quarter. I would say part of them. Time and time again, no? Nahanap ni Chris Bitoon. Itong uh, si Will Macaloni. Rim running. For the Capitals. Tapos ang trailer naman itong Titans. Yung maliit, mga Duarja. Oo, oh, eh, hindi talaga abot. Uh, Pag na... Film din makalawin yung bola. Easy basket. But free throws pounding the game of the Capitals. Partner. Ito si Makaloni. May dalawang minutes na ba ito? Tama bang sukat yung Makaloni kanina sa first half? Ang minutes silang free throws. Ay apat. Ito pong Capitals. Able to split his charities. 8 out of 14 so far in this game. Sabi mo, dahil sa ganito kadikit na laro, yung It free matters, throws, parang, eh. yun nga, parang pwedeng ano sa yan eh, manginayang kanya sa dulo. Ka. Sandagon, hand off to Fuentes. Posejo, trying to shadow him. Just eight to shoot. Fuentes pa rin. Three-pointer, short. Bito on. Taps it to Kalo. Opportunity again for the Capitals. Makaloni strong to the hoop. Fouled by Cannon once again. Heading to the line for a couple. Oh, He's yeah. down here. Malala na yung bagdaan dito. Ah, ng, uh, Cannon at saka nila Makaloni. Makaloni, second time on the floor. Well, sumalubong ka naman ba sa Cannon, uh, Professor Randy? Oh. And again, to that strong side of Will Makaloni. Oh, left side. No? Nagpalit ng shift sila. Pupunta na siya lagi sa kaliwa eh. Well, wind knocked out of him. Yung sa banggaan na yun. Nakataas eh. Yun yung pinupunta nila eh. Nakataas ang kamay. Hindi ka nun. But the body contact, yun yung itinawag doon that made him change his shot. Two free throws ang bibigay si Macaloni. Act of shooting. Quezon is now at the limit. Penalty na sila dito with 4.06 remaining. Eh, ang may maisiha, dadalawa lang. So, Macaloni, almost single-handedly bringing the capital back from a nine-point deficit. Our best player of the conference, Will Macaloni, Iguano. Uh, played for the University of San Carlos in the Sasaki League in Cebu. Sabi nga natin kanina, pag uh, ikaw ang usually nananalo ng award na yan, on award night, may jinx yan eh. Oo, oh, it's either mas mga laro mo o patalo kayo. Uh, well, so far, Macaloni is playing his best game, I suppose. With comparing one, one in games one and two. Kanon, si iupo muna nga rito. And uh, yun nga, Macaloni, really, kind of, sabi mo, dun yung tema eh. When uh, he didn't perform dun sa game number two, dun nagkulang oh, yung formula oh. for the Capitals. Eh, Ang layo yung distansya ng game na yun eh. Tapos na, na wala pa si Wiko. Ngayon, si Wiko is a non-factor in this ballgame. Down to a one-point lead. This lead was as high as nine. Napatawag nga ng timeout itong Capitals. Able to recover here in the third. Lagrama inside to Gravera. Blocked by Robles. Bitoon tracks down the board. Titans immediately in transition. He gets it to Kahlo. 
Halo pa rin. Steps back for his own three-pointer. Short. Lagrama with a rebound. Finds Fuentes. Inside, Sandagon. Pump fake. Masyadong malakas. Ganda na sana nung kanyang uh, pwesto ron. Alina po maraming minibitis since leading 52-43 itong kapunan uh, ng Titans. Manahimik. Gitoon will miss from that baseline, Jay. Asking for a foul, none would be given. Tapos sa kabila ang Titans. Lagrama to Gravera. Able to convert. Tapi ikan. Babalik dito sa Nueva Ecija. Okay, very tentative yung mga tira nila Sandagon at Gravera. So the call was initially balik sa Nueva Ecija, but a correction by our officials. So the Titans would keep it with 14 on their shot clock. 3-0-3 remaining sa ating third quarter. As Wiko checks back in for the Capitals. And, uh, <laughs> you know why he said the floor? Ayip. Oh, bakit na dyan si... <laughs> Wiko Robbie. in? Ronyo in na rin. Oh, parang deposit slip yan, tsaka withdrawal slip eh. Sabay na sabay. Pag binunot, bubunotin. Pag pinasok, ipapasok. And that's really the matchup of the series. The game within the game. Robin Ronyo and Michael Wiko. Kung mga hindi po nakakaalam, uh, talaga mas, nagka, mas nagkakilala sila in that game number two. Oo. Oh, oh, oh. Ito ang problema. Ang, ang substitution na mali ng bigay, Gravera cannot, be, cannot return to the fold dahil sa replacement pattern kanina. Puentes will remain on the floor while waiting Gravera. Kasi nang naitawag, ang paparitan si Gravera. So now they insert Opiso for Puentes. Well, ino po si Puentes, no? He checked kasi kay Judel eh. Ilo mo, ilang tatlong mintis, tatlong mintis na siya dito sa third quarter. Who did get his game going? May pagod na rin eh. Taking a breather. And, uh, let's see if uh, itong opensa. May hawak ng bola. Magigising na rin. Lagrama. Four to work with. He tries from outside. Too strong. Long rebound. Trying to be saved by Sandagon. Look at the hustle. Unable mm. to save that basketball. Pero alam mo nga, mainiinda pa. Itong si Simon, but... 110% effort trying to save that ball. Tapa ko sa 52, partner, ilang minuto na yan. Leading 52-43. Now is a chance for the Capitals to take the lead after trading by as much as 9 here in the third. Now scoring on Titans itong uh, Nueva Ecija. 14-6 to, mm -hmm. to start our third. Now 14-14 to 14 na tayo. Mm -hmm. Kaya yun na, balik na ulit sa isa ang kalamangan ng Quezon which what uh, what they had heading to our second half. Loose ball scramble. Almost recovered by the Titans, but uh, LJ Gonzalez will be lying on the sideline. Yep. Not stepping, but lying but on the sideline. Literally lying. The drama is replaced by Abundo. So, sino ngayon ang tatay? Ah, just LJ Gonzalez para sa point guard court. Ang Titans. Two and a half left in the third. Bitoon. Goes to Robles for three. Off to the right. Gonzalez with a board. LJ setting it up for Quezon. Falls out for the screen from Simon Sandagon. Macaloni switches on him. He will try for three. Gets his first points of the ball game. And it is a three-pointer. Unang puntos pa lamang para kay LJ. Oh, what a time for it to come for LJ. He really needed that shot. They were already feeling itong Capitals breathing oh. down their necks. Bante muli sila ng apat, 55 to 51. Huiko against Ronyo. Hook shot, malakas. Ronyo with a rebound. With energy of three points, Shepard and the crowd getting into the game again. Gonzalez once again. Giton stays with him. They get the switch once again. Corner, Ronyo. Eight to shoot. They lose that basketball is Sandagon. Capitals, another opportunity. May baba ang kalamangan. Bitoon. Goes to Macaloni. Nakabuelo muli. But stolen by Opiso. Has a three on three. Abundo. He goes to Ronyo. Balik kay Abundo. Nice fake. Takes it closer. Off the glass. Good. Para kay Abundo. This decision for Abundo to take. It was tempting, but the higher percentage and a six-point advantage for the Titans. 
Less than a minute left sa ating third. Chance of defense echoing the Quezon Convention Center. Pito on. Goes to Cosejo. Drives inside. Traveling violation. Ipi Peter Rito. Against Cosejo. Momentum clearly shifting dito sa Quezon Titan after the Capitals was able to trim it down to just one point. Marangkada ng bahagya dito ang Quezon, allowing them to be up by six. Oh, five to nothing run after almost losing the lead to the Capitals. Yan naman ang composure na gusto mo makita if you're a Quezon fan. Of course, that was highlighted with a three-point shot of LJ. Ronyo thought about the three. Goes to Gonzalez. He will be fouled, and that would just be team foul number three. Yep. No free throws just yet for the Titans. Colliado will be whistled for that personal. Pipi to talaga yung partner. Yung ganong klase ng kilos. It's not really a foul. Sabihin mo ng manipis. Kung matalaga na call it that way. But I guess, yun nga, medyo matipid naman sa fouls itong Nueva Ecija in the third quarter. Still a foul to give. Samantala sa kabila, they are already in the penalty talking about Quezon. As Torres escapes, gets it to Minerva, top of the key. Jumper won't go, Jose with the board. They could hold for the last shot. Ten seconds left in the third quarter. Kahlo against LJ Gonzalez. Five seconds now. Kahlo pa rin. A second. And Capitals won't be able to put up a shot to end the third. Defense from LJ Gonzalez, yes. really. Oh. Very pesky. Dito kay Eman Galo. Pin risk sa midcourt, no? Si Billy Ray Robles. Kaya hindi naka-attempt itong kapunan ng uh, Nueva Ecija in the last uh, offensive set. And at the end of the third, it will be 57-51 to 51 in favor of the Quezon Titans. PSL, let's pay attention to our LED screens as we'll be having our PSL Kiss Cam. All right, sino kaya ang ating unang paghahalik? Sino kaya yan? Okay, let's go. Tignan natin sino ang unang biktima ng Kiss Cam. All right, balakpan naman natin. Magkikiss na yan. Magkikiss na yan. Magkikiss na yan! Magkikiss na yan! Nako! KJ, ito naman! Magkikiss na yan! Yeah! Okay, next naman tayo. Balik natin. Doon sa araw. Kaya naman. Alright, ayaw! Dadon, balik natin. Doon sa ayaw. Open na yan. Tignan natin. Nako! Ayaw! Hindi KJ ang ating mga Tagalusena. Isa pa. Ayun, ayun. Palakpan na ka kay natin. Very good. Very good. Ay kayo naman. Ayun, walang pag-aalinlangan. Hinalikan na gano. Alright. Magkikiss na yan. Magkikiss na yan. Bawal KJ. Magkikiss na yan. Mamaya na po tawa, kiss po muna. Let's go! Kiss! Konting tamis naman! Ayun! Palakbaan naman po natin. Ayun, that's our PSL Kiss. You are still watching the Game 3 of the PSL President's Club 2024. Live po tayo dito sa Lucena Convention Center. The individual who played excellently for Nueva Ecija noong game 2 was Matt Cosejo. Pero alam niyo pa na this rookie ay mula sa Lokban, Quezon. Playing in this venue for the first time feels weird pero dahil nga hindi niya nire-representa ang kanyang hometown. Tinanong ko siya kung may pagkakaiba ba ang Quezon yan at Novo Ecijano basketball. Sagot niya, wala. Parehong diehard. He is truly grateful for the opportunity playing for pros, specifically kay Coach Gerson Cabiltes dahil dinala siya from Emilio Aguinaldo College pa Punta sa Nueva Ecija Capitals with his previous double-double performance. Mas motivated siya dahil kasama niya ang kanyang pamilya at ang girlfriend. Gentlemen. Thank you. That was Sheila Salaysay reporting for Nueva Ecija.
Nat Cosejo, uh, kind of a homecoming para sa kanya. Six points so far. A bit of a far cry from the 21-point oh. performance in game number two. Actually, hindi na uli siya nakamusta pagkatapos ng six points sa first half. And I think that's going to be critical. Outside of the big three, eh, kailangan ang gusto si Cosejo for the Capitals. Ano ang tawag ng referee? Rock around. Parang bacon, partner. <laughs> Ginaguto mo naman ako. Oh. Rope Frandi, mo naman ganyan. Oh, kasi hinihingi nila eh, binalot. Hindi sinaro na binalot. Pwede mo naman sabihin binalot parang longganisa, di ba? Ah, lukban kesa. Total, nandito oh. naman tayo sa lukban. <laughs> Ay, maganda gawin sa mga taga-lukban, ha? Matitikman namin yung ano niya, yung longganisa niya. Wow! What action, partner, ha? Huh? Opiso getting his first basket. Pero parang may wrestling pang nangyari doon sa pihita na yun. Well, we did just have Wrestlemania noong uh, Sunday. Baka inspired pa ang mga tao. Wigo badly misses on that one. But Kalo, reading that oh. shot well. Talagang inabangan niya. Alam mo, pag mahina ang puso mo, huwag basketball The way things are turning out here in the fourth quarter. Maga mental toughness uh, as reported mm. by Jess earlier. Dahil yung biyahe for both these teams, grueling din. And alam natin yan. Oo. Oh. Oh, walang oras yung biyahe pabalik mula Deba Isiha, papunta rito. So Piso will miss on that three. Oiloan gets that rebound. He will set it up para sa Nueva Isiha. Trailing by six, 59 to 53. Naibaba nga sa isa ng Nueva Isiha yung kalamangan after trailing by as much as nine in that third. But that 5-0 run to end the third quarter for Quezon, allowing them to lead by six, heading into our fourth. Oliado will miss on that three. Mahihirapan ang Nueva Ecija pag talagang wala si Macaloni o si Bitoon sa loob para sa kanilang kupunan. Yung luxury that na you can just dump it to oh. Will Macaloni uh, whenever he's off the floor. Kailangan mo hanapin sa iba. Gonzalez eye to eye with Goliado. He attacks. Looking for a friend. Gets it to Ronyo. A straight to shoot. Floats it up. Ayaw. Gonzalez power rebound. Malalaglag siya rito. Agawa ng bola. Jump ball is whistled by our officials. Gonzalez hustling up high for that rebound. Well, alam mo, walang, walang kumpiyansa si Ronnie Kumira from that apart. But he was given a pass. Although, pumuposition ka doon sa may three-point area. Tignan mo. Parang ano nung bagsak ni LJ kasi oh. power yung, ang, ang baga, yung balance niya from get, trying to get that rebound. Well, eto ha, si Fuentes binalik agad. But pumabas si LJ sa kumpuna ng uh, Titans but we don't see Bitoon and Macaloni still here in the fourth quarter. Torres bounces it to Puentes. Fading away. Short. Rebound. Secured by Kalo. Oiloan. Gets it to Coliado. Kuha niya muli. Oseho now. TP hit. Coliado recovers. So seven to work with. Goliado from the corner. Unable to hit. Rebound. Trying to fight for it, but a uh, loose ball foul will be whistled against the Capitals. Billy Ray Robles. Take another look at that rebounding battle. Robles trying to fight for that one. And yung uh, tawag nga. I think that's the right call kasi hinook niya yung braso ni Gidel Quentin Pace. And hindi pwede talaga magtagal. Bitoon and uh, Bacaloni now back in the game. Kasi yung mga huling tira ng uh, Capitals, lahat puro sa Teresa Partner. Eh. Yung option sa loob na wala para sa kanila. So Gosom is in and out of this ball game. Surprisingly, Minerva comes back. Is this a matchup? Kung baga na discarte that uh, yung abin alik si Will Macaloni oh. and uh, thus RJ Minerva also oh. for the Titans. Well, advantage wise, para heftier si ano si uh, Minerva. And this is Minerva so, finishing uh, with that left. So justified partner. Uh, There's your answer. Walo <laughs> lamang dito ng Kezon. 61 to 53. Bitoon. May ipit gets it to Macaloni. In traffic, foul will be called. Oh. So officials uh, seems to be pointing to uh, Topeng Lagrama. Ano yung veteran move yun para kay Macaloni? Uh, Alam niyo, magkakakonsak eh. You take it aggressively. Look at that good pass. Could have been a foul there pa kay Natusero eh. 
Balik tayo muli kay Jess Constantino for another report para sa Quezon. Jaime and Randy, very embodiment of small but terrible itong si Tupeng Lagrama. The 31-year-old never played high school and collegiate basketball. He was actually 17 years old. Nung naaya lang siya maglaro ng ligang labas, dito na nga nagsimula yung basketball game ni Tupeng. At laging po sa salamat na nga when he was given an opportunity to play for Quezon. At kung ano nga daw yung kinulang niya sa height, sinisigurado naman niya na hindi siya kukulangin sa puso at kilis. Any thoughts on this, Jaime and Professor? Thank you, Jess. And uh, to peng lagrama, lalo sa aka, sing liit ko, no? Oh. Ah, look at that! Oh. Goes with the slam off the feed oh. from to peng lagrama right on cue. Oh. Parker, mental lapse for the defensive stand of the Capitals. Nasa harapan sila ng bangko nila when that thing happened. Back to an eight-point lead, 63 to 55. Cosejo hands it off to Eman Kalo. Gets to the middle, kick out. Ikot nila, Biton. We'll go inside to Robles. Outside, Coseo for three. Masyado malakas. Tapik, mapupunta kay Biton. Fly-by move. Gets that three to go. Wow. That's three-pointer number four para kay Chris Biton. Make that 16 now para kay Chris. Grabe, no? It's an offense on the part of Chris Biton. Inserted sila ni Macaloni. Immediately five points from the two. Hanggang doon nang gagaling itong uh, flow ng opensa ng Capitals. Immediately making an impact after they return to the hard court. Down to a five-point lead. Trying to be protected here by the Titans. Look at that turnaround shot. Tough shot uh, coming from Abundo. Inaasahan siya, nadidipensahan niya. But you know, he put pressure by shooting over Chris Pitoon. So a lot of contributions now coming from different uh, areas for the Titans. Parang balance na ginagawa dito ng Quezon. Robles to the baseline. DP hit, looking for Macaloni, and look who's there to foil it. Topeng Lagrama, Macaloni still down. They have the numbers if you are Quezon. Gets it to the middle, Gozum. Lagrama. Goes to Abundo, inside to Gozum. Fakes out, Billy Ray, Kalo. Called for that foul, two free throws coming up para kay Will, holding on to his face. Physicality at a high dito sa ating fourth. Well, Cosejo and Gossum are not necessarily strangers to one another in the NCAA, AEAC against CSB. Nagulat rin si Gossum doon kung mga nalibre siya. So, uh, three, deep, three white shirts. Uh, so, malubong dito kay Will Robles. Hindi lang sa angulong to partner. Yung kamay na tira mo yung kanan. Yung kamay ni Cosejo na supposedly nung tumama sa mukha ni Gossum eh. Being reviewed by our officials. See if it would be uh, upgraded. But I think the foul was called on Kalo for dun sa tapik. And then yung uh, mga second motion coming from the contact para kay Josejo. Uh, Our team foul situation. Tapos sa dwebo is yan. Iisa lang para sa Quezon. They play small again. Tama ba para sa kapunan ng uh, Titans with uh, Lagrama, Puentes, and Abundo. Si Abundo, no? yung, yung, the usual role ni Abundo. No? Defensively, he makes sure that he slows down the perimeter offense of the opponent. Ito, may two points pa siyang bonus. And Gossum coming to life here in the fourth quarter. See if uh, may si Aron. Ano. Uh, dito ng Nueva Ecija. He was down on the floor earlier. Uh, may contact doon kasi sila dalawa nila drapan. Nag-agawal sa pole. So walang foul na itinawag doon. Will Gozum on the line. Finished second sa ating uh, best player of the conference. Oh. Which went to the other Will, Macaloni. So, pwedeng may chip on his shoulder itong si Will Gozum so far. Nine points to go with five boards. Fairly quiet pa kung, kung titignan natin. It's not a bad numbers, but syempre, expectation mo when it comes to Gozum. Mm -hmm. Matastas. Well, he's not played the good number of minutes in this ball game. What, what? 10, 12 minutes na nakakalaro itong si Will Gozum. Not the usual number he would expect. Oh, this is open shot. Ano mo naman yung kontra tempo dun ni Chris Bito? Oh. Just slow down enough para malin lang yung depensa. Unable to finish with that layup. Totally de uh, deceptive dun. Ano? Bigla na lang umatake. No? Akala mo, so slow down. Mas Robles giving up that foul against Lagrama and holding on to his right knee it seems. So parang uh, ginuti foul niya na dahil may nararamdaman na nga. 
There's the players coming to the aid of Billy Ray. Oh, there's something wrong. Naalalayan nga siya, pabalik sa kanilang bench. Hope it's nothing serious para kay Billy Ray. Parang uh, binigyan niya nalang bigla ng foul itong si uh, Topeng. Naramdaman niya eh. Mm -hmm. Pag paglapit niya, naramdaman niya. Approaching from the keyhole area. As he approaches the ground. Naramdaman niya rin. Kaya yumakap na kagad eh. Was really no contact prior to that. Let's just hope it's not a serious one. Mga non-conta kasi na ganyan, uh, Professor Randy, you know, that sometimes... Hopefully there is no snap. It's just a strain. The muscles. You know, already, play, uh, already playing without uh, Bobby Balukanag. Mm -hmm. Itong Nueva Ecija. Who met a freak accident in the warm-up uh, for game number two in Nueva Ecija. 4 and 25 left. Capital still trailing by 6. 66 to 60. The series is tied one game apace. Fuentes looking for Gozum. Anticipated by Kahlo. This is Bitoon now. He will pull up for three. Too strong. Abundo tracks it down. Tatakbo dito ang Quezon. They have the numbers. Gonzalez thought about the three. They will reset. Exactly four minutes remaining in this game. Gonzalez against Bitoon. Puepuesto trying to back him down. Kick out. Abundo. He will try for three. Kakalug palabas. That would have brought the house down for <laughs> Definitely a basket that could have given maybe yung uh, safe cushion dito for the Titans oh. heading into uh, the last few minutes of this game. Bitoon gets it to Celes. Gave up his dribble, gets it to Macaloni against Minerva. Backing his way down, hand off, Celes inside. Now just a four point lead para sa Quezon Titans. Macaloni connecting with Robbie Celes. Judel Fuentes. Mataas ang magtimon ngayon para sa Quezon. Falls out RJ Minerva. 10 seconds to shoot. Abundo. Makaloni hounding him. LJ just poor to work with. Long three-pointer. Also long. Oh, medyo lumamig na ang uh, Titans. Huh? They've, they've lost the momentum somehow. And patiently, itong uh, Capitals working their way. Capitals are in the penalty. Celes gets it to Iloan. Crowd here at Quezon Convention Center feeling a bit restless. A three to shoot. Bitoon pa rin. And shot clock runs out. Yep. 24 second shot clock violation will be called against Nueva Ecija. Quezon Titans will call for some time, leading this ball game by 466 to 62. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Party List, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure. Official hydration partner, Top Cock Gentleman's Grooming. Prepare for battle. Your healthy life. Japanese Style Clinic. Erase Beauty Care. Isla Capsule. Marketing Partner, Bean Leaf. Media Partners, Fiber TV. Blast TV. Live at IBC 13. Have a look at our face of the game brought to us by Erase Beauty Care. Hindi lang maganda ang ating venue, maganda ang ating laro, maganda rin ang ating fans. Miss Yannica Salcedo, a supporter of course of the Quezon Titans, enjoying this ball game this evening. And, uh, hindi naman na, uh, hindi ko siya masisi if uh, she is smiling. Her team is leading by four with the last two and 26 of this game. Pero mahaba pa to, uh, oh, Professor Randy. Two possession game yan, uh, two and 26. Team foul situation. I isang team foul. Meron ng uh, Quezon at lima naman. O penalty situation po ang Nueva Ecija. We now see Tomas Torres in the ball game for the Titans. So he'll be doing, he replaced si Gosom no? sa kapudan ng uh, Titans. Yes, or, si Abu, or si Abundo, I think, for that position. Mm -hmm. Maybe an offense-defense switch para dito kay Coach Eric. It's Torres, Fuentes, Gonzalez, Minerva, and Sandagon. The five for the Titans. 
Six to work with. Fuentes looking for Gonzalez in the corner. Deflected. They will keep it with three on the clock. Andarin ng defense ano umadjust sila kay Fuentes no. Alam nilang titira. Fuentes had to give it up. Baseline inbound here para sa Quezon. They have just three seconds to work with. Fuentes gets it to Sandagon. Matatapikan Fuentes right in the nick of time gets that three pointer to go. They might have to have a second look at that. Oh, but it did look good prior to buzzer. Yes. What a buzzer, no? Up to a seven-point lead now for the Titans, 69 to 62. A minute and 45 left. Babawim ba ni Biton? Three-pointer from the corner. Oh. Answers is Chris Biton for the Capitals. Woo. Manos to manos. Hawak lang mga ka PSL. Close to a minute and a half left in this ball game. It's just a four-point lead for the Titans. Look at this matchup, Biton and Puentes. 20 points para kay Judel. Make that 23 for another three-pointer. Judel Puentes gilising. Itong Quezon. Parker, before that, he has missed four consecutive three-point attempts. Piton, may ipit. Stolen by Torres. Goes to the baseline. He will pull it back. Ito na nga, buong coaching staff ng mga Titans. Asking them to slow it down. Just a minute remaining. The Titans up by seven as Fuentes loses that basketball. This is the stop you're looking for if you're Nueva Ecija. Oh, lucky break para sa kanilang. Kasi hindi naman talaga hot to contest it. But Fuentes, so hot. The timeout will be called here by Nueva Ecija Capitals. Trying to talk it over. Trailing by seven. 72 to 65. The BSL President's Cup 2024 is brought to you by Dumper Partilist, C Prime Business Financing Corporation, Converge Fiber X, supported by Kalos PH Sportswear, Hyundai Home Appliances, MDC Sports, Finn Cotton, Healthy and Pure, Official Hydration Partner, Topcock Gentlemen's Grooming, Prepare for Battle, Your Healthy Life. Japanese Style Clinic, Erase Beauty Care, Isla Capsule, Marketing Partner, Bean Leaf, Media Partners, Fiber TV, Blast TV, live at IBC 13. Last 55.7 seconds of this game. The Quezon Titans trying to hold on to the seven-point lead, 72 to 65. Uh, Professor Randy, na napatawag na time out on Nevaisia, trying to make one last push to uh, maybe steal one dito sa Quezon. Well, they have to really convert in this uh, coming off a timeout. Now, whether it's a two-point shot or a three-point shot, they make sure that they the game. Now, if they can make the attempt as quick as possible here, that would uh, give them some, buy them some time. Going back. Remember, a disadvantage in Nueva Ecija. They're in the penalty. Quezon is not in the penalty. So, yung napag-usapan natin of the air, Jaime, pwedeng namiti ng Quezon yung foul sila rito in delaying the offense of the Capitals. Sure, the Capitals in control in that first quarter, but the Titans using a strong second and third build the lead and we know protectan na nga lang nila. Holding on to a very key victory, a pivotal Game 3 victory. Gonzalez shadowing Kahlo. Blocked by Gonzalez, but foul whistled against him. This is big. Oh. Three free throws coming Three up for Kayeman. That would be three on LJ. Take another look at that play. Natuklaw daw, ayon sa ating officials. That was close. Close. <laughs> Crowd chanting bola. Come on, other than the good of the partner. Warning on the 
Warning given. Sa bench ng uh, coaching staff ng Quezon. The resentment of that call. 41.1. Yeah, mathematically, at the offensive set, lost 14 seconds. And that, you know, the even malaki to sa kumpul sa game ng uh, Capitals. Eh. They would have three free throws, but Kesson would elect to come back. Pero pa foul, they expect that it pa foul yung Capitals pagbalik. Because they're now going to borrow some time. But it's a two possession game, 70 to 65. Your officials. Confirming that it was indeed a three-point attempt from Eman Kahlo, thus three free throws. So, duty for Kahlo is to make three free throws to bring it to four. Eman Kahlo so far, two points to go with four rebounds. Very important free throws to give the Capitals a glimmer of hope. The king ay dito ang Quezon Titan crowd, but able to uh, get that first. Zeman Kahlo down to a six point advantage. Lagrama checking back in for the Titans. That additional ball handler para dito sa Quezon. You would expect the Capitals to put on some pressure. Oh, Kahlo. Maybe parang force a turnover. Lang, parang wala lang yung free throw si Kahlo. Kumumado kalmado. Pinasok niya yung unang dalawang free throws. Parang ma 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 maingay na ba? Parang hindi pa yata maingay <laughs> enough para kay Eman Kahlo. Calmly sinking. Both. Able to complete three out of three for Eman Kahlo. Back to a four-point advantage. Here comes the pressure. Kumal uh, Kagad. That would be two free throws. So it would be Topeng Lagrama heading to the line. Chance to uh, get, I mean, create more cushion for the Titans. Uh, it would still be a two-possession ball game regardless. Uh, two rebounds so, uh, this is favorite boy in the game. Two free throws for Topeng. Oh, uh, yes! Wide to the right. Yung kanyang free throw. And kasi malamig din yan. Galing yan sa, sa bangko partner, di ba? Yung replace si Tomas Torres for an offensive-defensive uh, substitution. And I just noticed how, you know, about a foot away from the 50-foot line, the free throw throws si Topeng. Able to adjust on the second. Lagrama takes a seat and balik ulit si Thomas Torres. Na offense, defense. Balasa dito ni Coach Eric. Up to a five-point lead para sa Quezon Titans. 73 to 68. Last 38 seconds of the game. Halo looking to attack. Almost stolen by Torres, but uh, the Capitals will keep it on the baseline. That's really keeping the pressure on the ball carrier in Titans. You know, pag the disrupt nila yan, 32.2 seconds. Two possession game. Malalim yung buhay dito ng uh, Capitals. Halo. Finds Oiloan in the corner for three. Off. Rebound battle. Kahlo recovers. Falls down and turns it back over to Quezon with 27.1 left. And immediately, Topeng Lagrama will check back in. Para kay Tomas Torres. He's done his job. Stopping yeah. yung uh, play na yon ng Guebaisia. Kahlo claiming that he was pushed. Ah, very much off balance. After securing that rebound. Oh, they're not fouling. They're, they're not fouling. Oiloan trying to give it up. Uh, I think that's about it. I guess that's too late a foul to be given. So Oiloan's third. So LJ Gonzalez will head to the line. Just three points para dito kay LJ in game number three after uh, superb performances in yep. game one and two. Pero yung timeliness nung tres na nahulog niya nga kanina, Randy, Kasi talaga one, importante. One point na lang ang lamang nila nun eh. Then he hit a three-point shot. And then another basket by Wilson. And that was the cushion enough to hold off the Capitals the rest of the ball game. Insurance free throws. But of course, you know, yung role ni LJ gives Fuentes the you know, the comfort to be just positioning himself from the three-point area and look for his shots. Despite not scoring as much, seven boards and six assists para kay LJ Gonzalez. Biton on the other end, matatapikan from behind. Capitals will keep it. Last 8.7 seconds of this game. Wow. Game 
Titan, you'll be here on Tuesday, partner. Yeah, if you're Quezon Titans, eh, punong-puno na tayo dito sa game number three. Ano pa kaya? Pag game number four, and uh, they would be in a position to be crowned our President's Cup 2024 champion as they are primed to uh, get a 2-1 to -one advantage, leading by seven with just eight seconds remaining. Oiloan will miss on that three as a uh, clock will run out and the Quezon Titans will win this pivotal game number three, 75 to 68. Yeah, game number four is on Tuesday, Professor Randy. Yep. Uh, you'll be covering maybe that game and uh, <laughs> mag, uh, you are looking forward to uh, that very exciting one. As a, as a spectator, I yes, guess. Yes, of course. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, we always look forward to watching it. But let's go first to the races of the super move of the game, Martin. Super move of the game brought to us by Dumper, and this guy played big. He didn't play down the stretch, pero yung uh, puhunan na ibigay nito ni Mark Alcala para dito sa Quezon Titans. Oh, yung, yung bukas na seven points niya, no? Sa unang quarter. Malaking uh, surpresa yun, eh. Meanwhile, we have a look at our Topcock defensive play of the game. This was the block from behind from Rodel Gravera, slapping it off the board. Back-to-back -back blocks has been the theme. Hindi man siya produce din from the offensive side of the floor. Talking about Rodel Gravera, the defense was there para kay Rodel. Alam mo, yung supporta ng iba pa, no? Puentes from this, the only guy in double figures, sila ni Arcala. Alcala just with 9 actually and Puentes oh. with 23 big markers. Pero yung support na malilit kasi low scoring game to. 75 points scored. Well, si Puentes, those big 2-3 points shots in the fourth quarter, bailing them out in this ball game. Meanwhile, we turn it over to Jess Constantino with our Calus PH Super Player of the Game. Yes, Jaime and Randy, kasama ko nga ang ating Calus PH Super Player of the Game, of course, from the Quezon Titans, Judel Fuentes. Judel, during the first half, medyo di kita niyong laban. Ano ba yung mga nagiging challenges niyo ng first half? Ah, uh, yung ano namin is, ano lang eh, uh, gigil kami manalo kasi nga home court and saka advantage namin to. And laging sinasabi ni Coach namin na, Kailangan namin manalo, kailangan namin ito makuha. Ngayon, Judel, ang ganda ng performance mo ngayon sa uh, Game 3. At nakita ko, medyo nag-e-enjoy ka the whole time. Gano pa nakatulong sa performance mo that you're playing in this home court? Uh, sa akin, is, hindi ko naman to ano eh. Kumbaga, kumukuha ko ng lakas kay Lord kasi nga, siya naman yung nagbibigay ng lakas sa amin eh. And, yun, uh, nagtas lang kami kay Lord na makuha yung game. Ngayon, Judel, batiin mo naman at pasalamatan lahat ng nanonood dito sa venue and of course sa ating live stream. Uh, no, 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 papasalamat ako kay Lord sa binigay niyang panalo and uh, binabati ko yung uh, lahat ng mga taga Quezon and uh, papasalamat ako kay Lacombs, kay Lagob, kay La Mayor and uh, sa lahat ng mga sumusaporta sa Quezon and uh, sa asawa ko, uh, magpagaling ka na and kay Matias, sa anak ko and sa mga papa ko and Ah, uh, kay Pastor Joel, Pastor Elsie, eh, Pastor Elsie, and sa lahat ng uh, taga Dabao, and, sino pa? Ah, uh, taga Lucena, and kay Boss Mario, and kay Stephen, and, ah, uh, sino pa? And kay, ano, kay Ate Kim, ah, uh, kakadating lang, galing, ano, Thailand, and salamat sa lahat. Thank you, Judel, and congratulations again sa Quezon Titans. Balik na sa inyo, Jaime and Randy. Thank you, Jess, and congratulations once again to Judel Fuentes, our Carlos PH Super Player of the Game. What a game para dito at Judel Fuentes, putting the Quezon Titans into position to secure a possible championship in game number four on Tuesday. Yep, so that's it. Huh? Good game, and uh, nabawi ko na yung utang ko kay Judel, his best player. <laughs> Yun nga, Tuesday natin, Quezon Titans pa rin. And Nueva IC, of course, game number four, where the Titans lead the series 2-1. to one, And that would be a wrap for our game number three. Magpapaalam na po kami ni Professor Randy Sakdalan, Jess Constantino, Sheila Salaysay, the hardworking men and women of Nudge Productions. Maraming maraming salamat po for watching your Pilipina Super League. This has been Jaime Mendihar. Dito, Pinoy ang Bida. <laughs>